Come join us for a very special evening of coming together, praising, and celebrating the joy of God's work. As we spread the good news of God's Word through television, we want our partners to know we are thankful for the opportunity to infiltrate the homes of our viewers with the Word of God. Because of partners like you, we can now reach new partners in countries as far as Trinidad and Tobago and Australia. We could not do this without you and your faithful giving to our organization. Welcome to the 2023 Festival of Praise share at Living Faith Television. All right, we're right out here in the phone center and we want to welcome you tonight to a special segment of the cooking show. Lisa has so many great recipes lined up tonight and we just want you to step back. This is a, uh, from seven to 11 tonight, we will be live and uh, you will be able to uh, uh, call in your pledge tonight for your cookbook. We are offering the All-American Cookbook. We'll be showing that here in just a few moments. Uh, but if you have not had a chance to get in on her new recipes out of her All-American Cookbook, stay tuned for that as well. Uh, Lisa's in the kitchen right now, and she's prepping for uh, uh, this night's segment. And like I said, she's got so much lined up. And uh, uh, we are excited to come into your home. I have some great operators for you to call in and speak to tonight. We'd like to say for the next, say, hour or so, uh, or maybe a little bit less, but we're gonna be able to take your prayer request. So if you've got a prayer request, why don't you just go ahead and call the number on the screen, 888-275-9534. Uh, this is a great night, and the, the weather is cool, but it's not snowing outside, so we are excited to be able to come to you this spring with a new segment of The Cooking Show. So I have with me tonight on my telethon uh, special, I have uh, Krista over here that will take your call. I have Deborah over here and Abby, and I have Lisa on the end. I have Shirley, and I have Michael Wilson on his way. So we have got some good operators tonight lined up for you as well. Our church at that top row has came down to help us out and we're thankful for them. Deborah lives in Charleston, West Virginia and the rest live in Bluefield and Grundy. So they've traveled a little ways to, to help us tonight on Telethon. So we're thankful for them and Shirley is always, always dedicated to come and we're thankful for that tonight. So we got everything lined up, we're ready, and we wanna welcome you. We want you to sit back and enjoy. I know so many thousands and thousands and thousands of people uh, love the cooking show. It's one, it's actually probably the, one of the best watched programs on TV. Everywhere I go, that's what I hear, that I love the cooking show. So tonight, you may be watching uh, on Roku, or uh, you, you could be watching by just internet. You could be watching uh, by cable system or one of our satellites. But wherever you're watching, stay tuned and don't turn that channel because we want you to enjoy the night with us because we're excited, we're glad to be a part of your household tonight. Uh, Lisa has been doing this cooking show now for, oh, I'm thinking 16 years. Uh, I have been here going on 17 years, and she started this cooking show uh, probably right, Pam came about two months before me or a month, and, and Lisa started it probably about six months, maybe after I'd gotten here, and uh, uh, she has been very successful in this cooking show because the Lord ordained it. And see, when God ordains something in your life, it works and she has blessed millions of people. Uh, so many people have came to the Lord by getting interested and in listening to Lisa's live thoughts and listening uh, as she tells about the goodness of the Lord. And it's drawn so many folks into the fold just through the cooking show. And they don't, she's got several cookbooks out, but right now we are um, offering tonight the All-American Cookbook uh, it will be uh, a one-time $50 pledge or uh, $25 for two months. If you do not have that in your, uh, in your selection tonight, if uh, 
maybe Mike could run and get me a cookbook or someone has a cookbook that I could see for just a moment. Uh, is there a cookbook over there? Uh, uh, but the one that we're offering is, is the All-American Cookbook. Uh, one time pledge of $50 or $25 a month for two months. So get prepared. As you can see, my phone operator is, is ready and waiting to take your pledge tonight. As you give a love token, uh, as you give your pledge tonight to Living Faith Television, this is only a love token. It's not for sale. It's a love token from Lisa to you for supporting Everyday Manna cooking show. So as, as we go on tonight, let the phones ring. If you got a need, we got the God. And we want you to be blessed. We want you to be prayed for. If you, if you need prayer, call the number on the screen. Let us pray for you tonight. And let us see tonight if you are really, really, really loving Lisa's cooking show. We want to hear from you no matter where you live. Call tonight. And just ask the Lord to bless Lisa tonight. She is doing a wonderful job, but she just she just needs the Lord just to touch her just a little bit. She got a little uh, little uh, tickle in her throat before we started, and and everybody all over the uh, all over the world that's watching tonight, just say, Lord, bless Lisa tonight on her cooking show, and I believe God hears our prayers. Amen. So we're excited. We thank you for joining us. We thank you for being. Um, been all the supporters down through the years with Everyday Manna, and, and this is only a segment of cooking. So it's live. We're not recorded, pre-recorded. We are live. We're here with live operators. So keep those phones ringing. A prayer request or a one-time gift of $50 or $25 for two months for the All-American Cookbook. And we will be back, and we will show you the cook, I think Chloe's got one that she can bring over and I'll just show you what you'll be getting if you haven't already. Thank you, Chloe. Had a chance. It's the Everyday Manna with Lisa. It's all American recipes. And this is why you need these. Uh, she has some great, great recipes in it. So this is what the cookbook will look like. It kind of looks like the 4th of July on there. Uh, the stars and the red, white, and blue. So this is a great month to order the cookbook. If you want to give it as a gift, maybe you would like to uh, order this as a wedding gift or a birthday present, or maybe your mother lives in another uh, state somewhere and doesn't get Living Faith Television, and you would like to order this uh, pledge to get this cookbook for her. We would be so happy to send this to you. One-time gift of $50 or $25 a month for two months. And you can call in 888-275-9534. While, while spring has already opened up and we are, this is our first live cooking show. And we, we, we want to bring this blessing to you tonight. So I don't know what, I think Andrea maybe have a song lined up for us. But uh, we want you to get on the phone and make the phones ring. That's what we need to hear from you. For the next few minutes, if you need prayer tonight, call my operators. The operators are standing by. They want to hear from you tonight. So we're going to uh, go to a song, and then we'll be coming back in just a few months. Huh? Going to do a promo first. All right, we're going to go to a promo, and then we'll be back, and Mike is here, so... He will be um, sharing tonight as well. So, uh, but send a prayer up right now for tonight's segment of Everyday Man of Cooking Show. Thank you. And now let's go to our promo.
forgive me, I'm looking into Lisa's phone, bo uh, phone book, uh, cookbook right here, and uh, uh, I was thinking of, uh, of the different things, Sloppy Joe's, Salisbury steak, greens with hot dressing. Lisa, isn't this the one that you kind of sample all across the U.S.? all across the U.S., all the regions where we have the different things. And I'm not going to go into naming a bunch of these things for a particularly good reason because sometimes I mess it up. But, uh, well, cakes, shortcakes, cherry pie, desserts. Uh, oh, my goodness. And so it's good to be with you. Thank you for joining us here at Living Faith Television. And as Sheila said, please pray for Lisa. She leaves the house about an eight, ten minute drive, gets here to the studio, and her voice is gone. And so we're praying that that will rectify, and what can you say? Um, we, just, we just need prayer, okay? And uh, Lord willing, we're going to give it a try. And she's doing over there right now preparing all of her foods um, and uh, ingredients. They're, st they're just scattered all across the place there right now and uh, we are getting ready to pass back and forth um, uh, in just a little bit the uh, uh, the books available put mailing addresses on those and make that happen uh, if you've got a prayer request would you call in right now 1-888-275-9534 1-888-275-9534 now uh, if you got a prayer request, you want to make a pledge call, uh, $50 for the cookbook. And all I can tell you is I'm at home and I see Lisa upstairs. All of these ingredients everywhere just uh, spread all across the floor. And she's, uh, I wouldn't know how many cookbooks she's got, but uh, she's, uh, uh, huh? Uh, well, cookbooks at home, the personal cookbooks, honey. Uh, several hundred cookbooks, and, um, and then she's written 21 of these. But each one in particular, each one has a very special uh, application. And uh, as you can tell, and I've got to go on a better diet of uh, not eating as big a quantities, it's good food, okay? And uh, she's also done... Uh, several different styles, but this one that we're offering now is Everyday Manna with Lisa, All American Recipes. Um, this has been probably the last several months since last July, we have had to tackle and deal with certain things here at the ministry uh, technologically. Sometimes you just get these challenges in life. And I know you have challenges. Ours was a technological challenge. The Lord blessed us and helped us to get that done. And we got it done. And in Jesus' name, that'll stay finished, fixed, locked in, and working. And for the station. And then for you, though, you've got challenges. You've got, there are people with health issues that you need prayer for. Uh... We have to work together. We have to keep um, praying together, working together. As we say at Living Faith Television, together we're making it happen. Together we're making it happen. And that's the only thing I know is we need to keep on keeping on for the Lord. And uh, in so doing, the Lord dealt with Lisa Oh, my goodness. It was around 03. Uh, the Lord dealt with her to do a cooking program for the station. And she was praying and was like, Lord, what do we do? I mean, I, I, I don't understand cooking for a Christian TV station. And uh, when the, uh, the answer came to her, and when she got it, she understood. And she said, Mike, the, the Spirit of the Lord dealt with me. And, and it was like he said, I will cause people to watch that don't ordinarily watch. And so we find that to be true. So praise the Lord. We're going to have many people come to Living Faith Television. 
come to God because of what her obedience, because of your working with, together with Lisa to cause the ministry to go on. And in so doing, for your gift of $50 or more, we are, uh, you can do it one time or you can do it uh, twice, $25 uh, uh, twice, uh, heat chili fries. I'm sorry, I'm looking at this food and it looks really good. <laughs> Uh, so are you ready to go, Lisa? Lisa's getting ready to do some zucchini corn saute. Well, uh, this is something you want to be a part of, but let us pray with you. Let us pray for you, okay? With you and for you. And we keep your prayer requests. We don't get rid of those. We keep them going. Lisa's getting ready to come on right now. And as we get ready to go over to her, um, uh, Call 1-888-275-9534. Thank you. We are going to do our best. <laughs> um, I don't know what happened. I've been fine. I deal with allergies. I've had, I was out for what, two weeks? Something like that with just severe allergies and bronchitis and Sick, sick, sick. I've been just dealing with this. But for the last week, I have been fine. Nothing. I was fine all day today. I was fine driving over here. I get in here and I ate a bite because once I start this, I don't get to stop. And then I started coughing and my voice just went. So bear with me tonight. It's not my normal. I'm sorry, but I, I I don't know what else to do. I've got everything prepped. Pam, God love her heart, is going to keep me supplied with hot tea and honey. Hopefully that'll coat my vocal cords. I know it's irritating to listen to somebody that sounds like this, but there's really nothing I can do about it. It was too late. I was, everything was prepped. Everything was ready and people were here. We're just going to do our best to get through it. So forgive me if I take a lot of sips. I don't know what else to do. Um, but tonight, we are featuring the All-American Cookbook. You know, it's, it's picnic time. It's coming upon spring and summer where we want to be outside. We want to have picnics. We want to do the simple, easy meals. We don't want to be in the kitchen all day long you know, this time of year. And this book features recipes from coast to coast. It, any, all things, I, what I did was I did a lot of research and I looked through all of my recipes, things that I have cooked through the years and did a lot of research. And I'm like, okay, what are foods that are uniquely American? Yes, I love Italian food and I love Chinese food and all of that. But what is uniquely American? American. And when you think about that, a lot of people will think, well, there's really not that much. Oh, yes, there is. We have from the Pacific Northwest, we have Dungeness crab. We have fiddlehead ferns. I don't know if you know that. From the Southwest, we have corn. We have different uh, things that are made from corn. Chilies, New Mexico chilies. We've got California has its own lots of fresh uh, avocado based. Then we get to the heartland of America and you've got all kinds of different things, lots of wheat and lots of corn and lots of different recipes. Then up north Michigan, you've got cherries, you've got apples. Mike and I lived in Michigan when we first got married. He was in law school there and um, I was surprised. I didn't know that Michigan had as much of the, the, the produce and the farming communities as what it does. It, it really amazed me, it shocked me. And I love the farmer's markets up there. I miss them terribly. But then you've got that and then you've got, you know, we, we come on down and I mean, listen, we could do a whole program on Southern cooking. I admit I'm probably a little biased. I love Southern cooking. We're actually gonna start out with Southern food, we're gonna start out with peaches because that's my favorite fruit. I love it when it's in season. I could just eat a whole bushel of it. So we're gonna get started in the South. We're gonna start with peach bread. 
all of the recipes that I'm doing tonight are in the All-American Cookbook. Nothing is cooked ahead. You are watching me do this from start to finish in real time. So it's going to be an hour once I put this in the oven before we're gonna get to see it because I don't have one made ahead. So we're doing this in real time. The only thing that's done are my ingredients are assembled. All the cooking is gonna be done in real time. Now I do that because I want you to see that you can do it. You can cook, no matter your skill level. I want you to see that you can do it. One thing that I do, and I've received a lot of feedback on, is that I cook with ingredients that you can find in your grocery store that are readily available, and I don't do the fancy cooking techniques and things like that. This program is for the everyday person, the person that has not gone to Le Cordon Bleu or any of the other uh, you know, cooking schools. I am not a trained chef. I've never been to culinary school. I would love to go. I don't know when I think I could, but I mean, to me, I think it sounds fascinating, but I just am a person who has loved to cook since I was a wee little girl. When I was like three, four years old, I would be in the kitchen with my mother and my mama was an excellent cook. And so I was raised at her knees and at her stovetop and at her table. And a lot of the food that I cook is based on what she has taught me through the years. And then as I got older, I just, I read cookbooks. I've collected cookbooks since I was, I don't know, probably nine or 10 years old, a long time. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we won't say how many years, but let's say it's multiple decades. I've collected cookbooks. I love them. I have all kinds and I, I just, I, it's just a hobby of mine and I read them and I read them like you would read a novel. And I have learned so much just through reading cookbooks and through trying foods, and that's what I want to encourage you today. So all of the recipes that are in this book, some of them we're gonna do tonight, are easy to do and things that you can do, and you're gonna watch me make them start to finish. So we're gonna get started on our peach bread. Again, please forgive my voice. I, I don't know what else to do. Now, it is not peach season when we're taping. Well, we're live right now, but it, if you're watching this in the future, it's not peach season. If it were peach season, I absolutely would be using fresh peaches. But it's not the next best thing for this recipe is frozen peaches. So you want about three cups. These are just thawed frozen peaches. You want them to thaw overnight and we're just gonna pop them in a blender because we're gonna puree them with a little bit of sugar because these are not um, fresh. If you're using fresh peaches and they're really, really sweet, don't add as much sugar. All right, we're gonna puree this. You can, I think, how I many lines, is there, phone lines open right now? I can't. Okay, you can get through right now at one 275 Nine five three four. I'm not going to try to talk over this. We're just going to puree this. I'm going to need to add a little bit of water. Forgive me here. Hang on. We just want to get these pureed. This blender is pretty high powered, and it it needs a little bit of liquid. This, by the way, is that I don't usually promote product at all, but this is a ninja. And I love it. It does a great job. Is that, yeah, we just want to puree those peaches. Okay, now in this bowl, I have some flour, some cinnamon, some salt, and some baking powder. I'm just going to whisk that together. I don't sift. If you want to sift, you can. I find, you know, unless your flour is really, really lumpy, I think you're fine just using a whisk to combine your ingredients. <clears throat> In a separate bowl, 
I'm using something I don't use that often, but in this recipe, it adds the structure. And that's just some shortening and a little bit of sugar, which my sugar has clumped up. That's okay, because we're gonna beat it. And two eggs. In baking, sugar is always treated as a liquid ingredient. I don't know if you knew that or not. Okay, let's get our mixer out. You could, if you wanted to take this out into another bowl and do it in your blender, you could, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna use the little hand mixer. And I'm just going to get this incorporated together. You will need two loaf pans, the nine by five by three loaf pans, just a standard baking pan. All right, gonna mix that till that's all incorporated. <clears throat> Let me get a spatula here. I'm going to put my puree into, I will say, if you have one of these blender or any blender, please be careful with these blades. They are very, very sharp and they will cut your fingers before you know it. You want to have about a cup and a half, which that, that looks to be about right. Okay. <clears throat> you can get through right now at 1-888-275-9534. I'm going to mix my um, peaches with my mixture here before I incorporate it into the dry ingredients. Now, if you wanted to make this into muffins, you could. Just, of course, obviously you would reduce your baking time. This is gonna bake for about an hour. But if you were doing muffins, I would check them at like 20 minutes, which would make a great muffin. I'll just tell you, it would make a great, 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 great muffin. I'm gonna just incorporate my peach puree mixture into my flour. You can get through at 1-888-275-9534 for your copy of the All-American Cookbook. I'm trying to get everything out of my way here. <clears throat> get your baking pans aside. Stir that in until you don't see any dry flour, don't over mix it because then it will be tough. I'm gonna leave it not quite mixed all the way because I'm gonna add one more ingredient. We need to add some pecans. Now, I, 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 I like pecans in this. If you want to use walnuts, you can. If you wanted to use um, almonds, you can. I just like pecans. And I am the odd duck out in the cooking world. I don't like to toast my nuts. I don't know why. You know, everybody says toast them to bring out the flavor. I don't like to do that. So if you are in the camp of liking yours toasted, feel free. I just prefer mine to not be. I'm going to mix some of these in the batter and then I'm going to save a little bit of it to put on top so it can just get crunchy. Okay, Sheila says you can get through right now. You need about a cup or so. 1-888-275-9534 for your copy of the All-American Re Recipe Book. There are 200 recipes, all of which are based on foods that we eat here in America in different um, portions of the country, different regions. I like to spray my pans with some nonstick spray, even though they are nonstick. I find it helps. <clears throat> I shouldn't have done that so close to my voice here. Hang on. All right, now we are going to divide our batter into two loaf pans. You want your oven preheated 
to 325 degrees. Evenly divide it as best as you can. Or you could, like I said, you could make muffins out of it. <clears throat> Just adjust your cooking time accordingly. All right. Let's get all of that in there. Then I'm going to sprinkle. Well, let me do this first. Anytime I bake anything, I like to just kind of drop it <clears throat> two or three times on a surface. What that does is it pops any large air bubbles and brings them to the surface so you don't have big air pockets in the middle of your whatever it is you're baking. And this is delicious, warm. It's delicious the next day with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. You want to put these in a 325 degree oven for one hour. I would check it about 50 minutes because your oven and my oven may bake differently. And I find that to be true. Recipes that I make at home, in my home kitchen, cook differently than the recipes here in my set kitchen. I have a lot of people ask me, is this my home kitchen? And no, it is not. It is my set kitchen at the TV station. I have a lot of people ask me that. <clears throat> okay, so that's recipe one. That's peach bread. And again, if it's peach season and you've got delicious fresh peaches, by all means, absolutely use those fresh peaches. My favorite is the kind when you get them and they drip down your chin. You got to eat them over the sink. Mm, so good. All righty. Now, this book has all kinds of different recipes in it. Let me read you just a few. We start out with uh, some appetizers, which we're actually going to make this one tonight. We're going to make the Hawaiian egg rolls. I know. You think egg rolls, you think Chinese. Well, think about Hawaii. A lot of the Hawaiian cuisine is influenced by the South Pacific Islands and China and Japan. But we are going to make some Hawaiian egg rolls. And to go alongside that, we're going to make a Hawaiian chicken. It's delicious. Cheese straws, a southern staple. I mean, you, you, that's just one of those things that in the South is always on an appetizer table. We've got Texas caviar, which ha doesn't have caviar in it. It's a black eyed pea based appetizer dip. We've got Vidalia onion and bacon, water chestnuts. The, the, uh, they're wrapped in the bacon and baked in the oven. So good. Deep fried jalapenos. We have um, a pecan cheese ball. You know, we love cheese balls at any gathering. It's, a, it's one of those appetizers that you can make ahead. The longer it sits, the better it, you know, it tastes because the flavors get mixed together. We have some different drinks, some different punches. Uh, we've, of course, got sweet tea. We've got sweet orange tea. We have a peach smoothie, an autumn tea that's great when the weather changes and the chills in the air and you just want a cup of hot tea. We've got two different versions of clam chowder because there are two different camps of clam chowder. There's a Manhattan clam chowder and then a New England clam chowder. Now, New England clam chowder is what most people think of when they think of clam chowder. It is that milky or creamy based soup. Whereas the Manhattan clam chowder is a tomato base. And we've got both in here. We have uh, some bisques in here. We've got a New Orleans shrimp bisque that you can make. We've got chipino, which is from the northwest, the Pacific Northwest Seattle area that has all kinds of different seafood and things like that in it. We have one of my favorites, which is an old fashioned split pea soup. I love split pea soup. That's my mama. She knows she made it all the time. It's just a tradition in our family. You have to have split pea soup on Christmas Eve. That's just now mama's, you know, my mother passed away. So now that's my job. I have to make the split pea soup. We have Brunswick stew, which comes out of 
there's a big debate on that one, but I call it Georgia, but some people from North Carolina say it was them. But we've got Brunswick stew. We have Hoppin' John uh, and greens soup. Oh, so good. We have another one of my favorites, which is cabbage soup, a Tex-Mex cabbage soup. We've got a hatch green chili chicken stew. We have uh, the Senate bean soup, which I did taste one year, years ago. Um, Mike and I went with his dad, my father-in-law. We had to go to D.C. for something. I don't remember what. But we had a meeting with one of the long-standing congressmen, Jimmy Quill, and he's been dead for many, many years. And we, we went to his office and we met with him. Kind man, a really kind man. I really liked him. And um, after our meeting, we were going to go eat. Well, his aide said, you've got to go downstairs to the cafeteria and eat. And so we did, and we went down there, and they had the Senate bean soup on the menu, and I'm like, I have to try that. I, I just had heard about it. It is so good. It's been on the menu every day for I don't remember how many years, a lot of long, long, long time. But anyway, make a long story short, it's delicious. Use this navy bean and ham hocks and butter and onion. It's so good. And it's just really, really delicious. And the recipe's on page 14. We've got red chili. We've got, you know, it's coming up on that time where we want to be outside. We've got macaroni salad, egg salad, potato salad with a sour cream dressing, then a, nest, a zesty potato salad for those of you like myself that prefer a vinegary based potato salad instead of a mayonnaise. This one is really, really good. A peach pasta salad. We've got a southern pea salad. We have a California cob salad. We have a dried cherry chicken salad that we're gonna make here in just a little while. Then over here in our uh, side dishes, we've got succotash. I've got a couple of different recipes for succotash. We are going to make one tonight. Uh, pinto beans, uh, Texas-style pinto beans, stewed tomatoes, which I love. In the summer, <clears throat> when you've got fresh, good tomatoes, it's just delicious. We've got smothered okra, fried okra. That's in honor of my mama. She loved fried okra. Red cabbage, glazed turnips, which are delicious. Hawaiian carrots, Vidalia onion casserole, greens, uh, pulled pork barbecue, a low country bowl, all kinds of different recipes from all over the country are in this book. So let's get started on another dish. Let me get myself my stuff that I need. This is going to be a um, French toast recipe. It is a honey pecan. You know, pecans are very big in the South. It's just one of those things that people love. I love. But it uses ingredients that you probably have in your pantry right now. Okay, you can get through it. 1-888-275-9534 to get your copy of the All-American Cookbook tonight. I've got some milk here, about a cup. I'm just making the um, dip that I'm going to use for the bread. I've got my griddle. I like a griddle, but you could do it on a, in a skillet. I've got four eggs. <clears throat> I'm going to whisk all that together. I like to break the yolks before I whisk. Just whisk all that together. Okay, I have some vanilla, some brown sugar. I'm using dark brown because that's what I had at home. You know, you can use light brown if you want. Te uh, dark brown sugar just has a little bit more molasses in it. Just whisk all that together. Now my two boys love French toast. They love it. All right. Okay, that's done. Now, what we're going to do, I just bought some store-bought thick-cut Texas toast You've seen it, the thicker cut bread, but you could also use um, 
the Italian loaf or the French loaf and cut it into slices. I have just the regular thick sliced bread. I would not use the little thin bread. I find that it gets soggy. I mean, if that's all you have, by all means use it. But if you can get the thicker cut bread, it's just a little better. Okay, we're gonna just turn that over. All right, that's getting hot. I'm gonna take a little bit of butter and I'm going to very liberally grease my griddle here. I've got it at like 325, <clears throat> 350. And I'm going to take my bread and just cook it. It's so good. You could add a little cinnamon to this if you wanted to. Would be delicious. The topping that I do for this is pecan based. <clears throat> you of course could just do it like this and serve it with just some, you know, maple syrup or pancake syrup, whatever you have. That would be fine. But oh my goodness, this topping is so good. You will need, I'm just going to use the same little cup here. <laughs> okay. If I could get Pam to come over here, she won't be on camera. I promise. Don't get her, girls and guys. And just pop this in the microwave for me, if you would. Funny thing, they don't want to be seen on camera. She's going to melt that butter for me. I need a spatula. Here it is. And we're just going to turn the bread and I need a plate to serve this on. If somebody could grab me a plate, some kind. <clears throat> this is great for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. This makes a great little, um, just a great little dish to have, you know, for a light brunch with some fruit on the side, which we are going to make in just a minute. We're gonna make some sauteed apples. Again, I'm using pecans, but you could use walnuts or almonds, whatever you wanted. one 9534 You can get through on the phone lines. I know what happens, I'm telling you, it, it happens every time. I have some more brown sugar. You watch me cook, and then when we get done, everybody goes to the phones, and the phone lines jam, and they get locked down. Do you know you can go online now and um, place your gift online? And you can text. I think there's a little thing that they have that we can show you how to do that. I'll get her to play that in just a minute. You just want your toast to be golden brown on both sides. All of the recipes that you're watching me do tonight are in this cookbook. You could chop your nuts as fine or as big as you want. You do what you like at your kitchen. Okay, I think I might have a little bit too many. I don't know, can you have too many nuts? I don't think you can. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't think you can. Okay, I just want it to be golden. Every little griddle will be different. Every little griddle will cook a little differently. <clears throat> and I'll show you how to serve. Now, again, you could totally do this on, or uh, serve it with just syrup, if that's what you want to do. It's delicious that way or you can make this little quick t I mean how long did that take 30 seconds okay you can get through one 9534 and this my friends whoo that's hot 
is your pecan French honey pecan French toast. We kind of have made, oh, I forgot my honey. Where's the honey? Okay, we, we can't forget the honey. I mean, that's kind of the whole thing. As much or as little as you like. If you can get local honey, even better. Did you know, local to wherever you live, your local honey, about half a cup or so, um, will help you build up your immunity system. Been learning that one. And then you just pour that over top of your French toast, and I've got some extra pecans, so why not? That is our honey pecan French toast that you could serve. You could have it done in breakfast in 15 minutes. I mean, really, provided that you've got the ingredients. So you could top that with some powdered sugar if you want. You could do whatever you want. It's your kitchen. It's what I tell you all the time. It's your kitchen, your rules. You do what you want. Now, to go alongside, and I do have leftover battle in it, batter, and we will make some more off camera, but you've, you, you, you know what I'm doing. And um, to go alongside that, what I would serve would be some sauteed apples. I love cooked apples, love them. All right, I'm getting my, come on you, here we go. I have here some butter. Now I chose Granny Smith apples, but you, you whatever kind of apple you like, I would not choose um, like the um, Red Delicious or something like that because they really don't have a whole lot of ability to stay together. They cook to mush and you want an apple that will stay together. Let me grab another little small board here. I'm just gonna work right over here by the stove. Okay, let me move this out of the way. <clears throat> 1-888-275-9534 for your copy of the All-American Cookbook. Now, the way I like to do my apples is quarter it, cut it in half, then quarter it, and take out the center, the little core. I have cut myself so many times on those apple corers that I just don't like to use them. If you feel safe doing it, you use the core. I just, I'm, you know, I'm a clumsy person in the kitchen. I just am. I'll admit it, I am. Can't help it. I just, that's the way God made me, I guess. I'm just kind of melting that butter and I'm gonna saute these apples, that's what I'm doing. You want three or four, depending, you know, how many people that you're serving. And these go great alongside our French toast, it goes great alongside biscuits and gravy, um, a tenderloin. My mama used to get tenderloin slices from a local butcher in Bristol, a meat company. I don't know if they're still in business or not, Malcolm's Meat Market. And she would fry those tenderloins and bake breakfast and cook apples, and that would be breakfast. And it was so good, so good. Daddy loved them. My mother was an excellent cook, and that is truly where I learned to cook. I like my wooden board a little better, but it's okay. I don't like to peel my apples. If you do, then you peel yours. I don't. I just prefer to have the peel on there. Obviously, if, you know, if you're serving children, you might want to peel it because they might get choked on the thicker peel, but I just, I, I don't. Let me cut that up just a little bit. We're just sauteing these apples for just a minute. one 275 9534 We're going to go to the phone room here in just a few minutes to see who's been calling. Our bread is in the oven. I think I'll just do two for tonight. 
you can do as many as you want. I am going to add a pinch of salt to this because I think you need that little bit of salt. <clears throat> We're sauteing these in our butter. Come on, you. Break apart. We are going to add some cinnamon. We're going to flavor them up with some cinnamon. So much. Oh, gosh. Mm. Do you know there's different types of cinnamon? There are different um, regions. That, see, I'm a messy cook. Are you a messy cook? I just am. I don't know why I am, but I am. You just want to saute these. Now, you don't want to overcook them. You just want them to be just barely tender. They go alongside, and I'll need something to put these in. A dish of some sort. Um, you just want them to be slightly tender. Granny Smith is a little tart, so I like to add a little bit of <clears throat> brown sugar. If your um, apple is sweeter, like maybe a, a honey crisp or something like that, gala, then I probably would not add as much of the brown sugar. It all depends on the sweetness of your apple. Obviously, the Granny Smiths are tart. This goes alongside that French toast beautifully. And apples are uniquely American. There are hundreds of different varieties of apples. My favorite eating apple is um, a Honeycrisp. Love them, love them, love them, love them. But I also, I love to cook with Granny Smith. Love gala apples. I like Golden Delicious. I'm not a real big Red Delicious. I will eat them, obviously. I'll eat any apple. But to eat, they just don't seem to be, have as much flavor. They're a little mealy to me. But you use what you have, what you like. Just let those go for about 30 seconds. If they're ready to go, getting ready. We'll go hear who's been calling. But doesn't that just look good? And that brown sugar will caramelize at the bottom and it'll just kind of glaze those apples. And they would be so good. Of course, I'm serving them alongside the French toast. But if you've got a pork roast, or pork chops or something like that. This would be delicious served alongside that. It really would be good with anything, with any dish. Maybe you've made just eggs and bacon for breakfast. Serve some sauteed apples. It's a great way to get additional fruit into your diet, your kid's diet, your family. And I don't want these to be overly soft and I can feel that they are softening I'm going to let them go about 30 more seconds, and then that's it. Our peach bread is in the oven. Oh, that cinnamon. Wish you could smell this. I had to get some fresh cinnamon because I was out. Mm, smells so good. They should make that into a perfume. They probably have. I don't know. I don't wear perfume. All right. Okay. Now, let's go back over here. I have a mess. Goodness. Pam, I didn't clean up my mess. <laughs> I'm teasing. Uh, okay, and there are our sauteed apples that you could make and serve right alongside that beautiful French toast that we made with our homemade syrup, or you could serve it with just pancake syrup or maple syrup, whatever you have, and our wonderful little sauteed apples that just look so, so good. So good. I got to taste one. Oh, ha. That was dumb. Oh. <laughs> they're very hot, but they're very, very good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All of these recipes, oh, that's so good. You gotta try that. All of these recipes that we've made so far and the ones that we're going to make 
for the rest of the night are available in the All-American Cookbook. Are we ready to go to the phone room? Okay. All of them are in the All-American Cookbook. 200 uniquely American recipes. We've got apple pie. We've got cherry pie. We've got apple dumplings. We have pecan tassies. I use a lot of pecans, can you tell? Oh, the first time I ever had these, my friend, uh, Birchie, Birchie Ward made them, and I, I just devoured them. They are so very, very good. We have bacon scallion cornbread, jalapeno cornbread. We have peach bread, which is in the oven. I love scones. We've got a cranberry walnut scone, a maple scone. We've got meatloaf, lots of different recipes. Country fried steak or chicken fried steak with gravy, which is one of my family's absolute favorite things that I cook. We have hamburger steaks with uh, gravy. We have a Salisbury steak that we're going to make here in just a little bit. We've got shrimp and grits, barbecued ribs, fried catfish, all kinds of different recipes in this book. 200 uniquely American recipes that you can make using ingredients that you can find in your local grocery store. Available for your gift of $50 or more to Living Faith Television. You're not buying this cookbook. I say it every time. You are not purchasing this cookbook. You are supporting Christian television. You are helping Living Faith TV to go around the world, literally, via satellite, via cable, via internet, all kinds of different methods of getting it out there now. So you are helping to take the gospel around the world. And in return, we will send you a copy of the All-American Cookbook. Let's go to the phone room. And we, you ready? I guess she's ready to go. We'll see who's been calling. I'm going to clean up this mess. And when I come back, we're going to make some more delicious food. I'll be back in just a minute. All right, we're back in the phone center, and we are just smelling some good recipes cooking from Lisa back here. It's all getting all over the building tonight, and the girls has already been saying, hey, I love that smell, so you all at home are getting hungry, I'm sure. But we want to honor some of our uh, uh, folks that have called in tonight wanting to pledge for the cookbook uh, as the love token that Lisa wants to send out to you and uh, just keep the phones ringing, 888-275-9534. Let's get these girls and this gentleman over here. Well, we got two gentlemen in here tonight. Let's let these phones ring and let's work them a little bit because we'll go back out to the next segment here in just a moment. And Mike is here to answer the phone here on my right. And Shirley's here and uh, Michael Wilson is here. We have Krista and Deborah, Abby and Lisa on my uh, back behind me here so uh, we got plenty of operators to answer your calls tonight if you call in and can't get through just keep pushing that redial button until you receive uh, your uh, call tonight through to get your cookbook uh, we have Knoxville Tennessee Skipper May uh, uh, pledging uh, want to send in a pledge and uh, there's no amount on that we have uh, Susan James from Johnson City, Tennessee, a one-time gift of one of uh, let's see, sixty dollars, uh, and uh, wants a special of All American Cookbook. Thank you so much for calling that in. We also have a gentleman from Afton, Tennessee, a one-time gift of fifty dollars, uh, asking for the All American Cookbook. Call the number right now. You've been listening to Lisa. You've been watching her cook, and she'll be going back into the second segment here in just. A few moments but right now is when you need to call you need to go ahead if you haven't had a chance uh, to receive this all-american cookbook now is the time then you can go back and enjoy the cooking so let's go ahead and get that out of the way so let us hear from you uh, call your prayer request in along with your cookbook just tell them what your prayer request is but call the number on the screen as we are speaking tonight we have uh, Helen Eaton of Kingsport, Tennessee, a one-time gift of $50 uh, wanting the cookbook. And we need you to call. Keep the, the ladies, are, some of them hasn't had a call all night, and they, they're wanting to hear from you. So let's let these phones ring right now. This is a beautiful, beautiful cookbook. I said it reminds me of the 4th of July. So this is a summer cookbook. 
Um, if you all have a gift that you uh, want to give someone, uh, you can call in and hopefully whatever your event is, you, you'll get this in time. Uh, you can ask for a credit card order or you can ask for it just to be a letter mailed to you and you can send in your check for your All-American Cookbook. This is a one-time love gift of $50 or $25 for two months. But we desperately need to hear from you. Maybe you've been watching and hoping and thinking that you're going to get through. Well, now's the time because Lisa has taken a break and we are back here getting ready to take all of your pledges. So just be in a... Uh, be in line tonight. Come in line and let's get these cookbooks. I don't know exactly how many she has, but I know there's a large number that is left. So if you are, we are live tonight. This is not pre-recorded. We're live in the phone center. And Krista needs a call tonight. She needs a call and Deborah needs a call. And let's, they would love to hear from you. Deborah is from Charleston. West Virginia, and she came a long way to take your call tonight. So let's hear from her. We have Donna Huskins of Bluff City, Tennessee, a one-time gift of $50. She wants the All-American Cookbook. So thank you so much, Donna, for calling that in tonight. Make your pledge. And you know, on uh, in May, I believe it is, uh, the 12th actually, is Mother's Day. And what greater time yeah. would it be to order a cookbook for your mother? I remember my mom used my mom had all the cookbooks. She was like she called pledges in when we would be on here. My mom passed away and my sister has a drawer that's got all cookbooks in it of Lisa's. And when I go through that drawer and look at it, it reminds me of how mother was always supportive uh, when we were on down here on with Lisa on the everyday manna. But listen, it's a very special gift for Mother's Day. And uh, if you call in with a credit card Pam would be able probably to get that out in time for your Mother's Day present. So call the number on the screen, 888-275-9534. Uh, maybe you have some weddings coming up. This is spring. This is summer. Uh, weddings good for birthdays. Whatever the event is, they would love to have a copy of Lisa's cookbook. Now, the great thing about her cookbooks is it's not big, long, drawn-out recipes. She has most of the time 20-minute meals, and if you work, it's great. You can go home and, and have supper ready in no time. It's just overall a great, a great, uh, uh, it's a great cookbook. So we want you to get in on this special, special segment tonight of the All-American Cookbook. So let us hear from you. Let us get your Mother's Day present ready for you tonight as a love token uh, from Lisa. Mike is sitting here. He is lonely. He needs a call. Uh, Michael, I got Mike on this end. Michael on this end. So they, both Michaels need a call. And Shirley needs a call. So let's hear the phones ring. Let the phones ring right now for the cookbook. And Lisa has worked herself uh, pretty good tonight and she has a lot more recipes uh, lined up but we need to hear from you are you ready tonight to go ahead and get this cookbook ordered uh, I've, I don't know how many cookbooks this makes her uh, but several in line uh, in a stack back there of her cookbooks and we usually have them all gone in no time and I know a lot of you all have already ordered uh, this cookbook because it has been out for a little while and I know you, the ones that normally order do have your cookbooks. But if you're watching uh, by satellite, if you're watching on Roku, wherever you are reaching us tonight, uh, you may be on Roku and in uh, California, you may be in Florida, wherever you are watching us, you can uh, call the number on the screen or go online and order the cookbook. We want to hear from you. I will probably have some pledges a little bit later to read where people have ordered offline. But tonight, this is a special segment that Lisa has brought to you just tonight to make you uh, feel at home again with the live cooking show. It's been a pretty good while. She hasn't been able to uh, come on with her signal. And now we've got everything. We got everything under control now. So transitions. So we're excited. We're excited. 
uh, to be in your home tonight. So if you have not ordered the All-American Cookbook, this night is a special night, and we want you to be able to receive that uh, as we speak. So as Lisa is prepping to go back to the next segment, uh, don't forget, don't forget that Lisa is here with her cookbooks, and she wants to be able to place one of those in your kitchen. So as I look back, Lisa, on my end over here, a heartless, she needs a phone call. And Krista up here, she needs a phone call. She's done already taken three or four cookbooks the last few minutes. And so you can keep calling while Lisa is actually doing her next segment. Our line is open back here. And the girls are sitting here waiting yeah. for you to call. Don't just sit there and watch. Push that number on the screen and on your phone and call. And let us know that you enjoy Everyday Manna Cooking Show. Let us know that all this hard work that Lisa does, this is, it gives back to Christian television when you, uh, when you sponsor uh, a cookbook or you, you call in a little pledge of love, she sends the token back to you. And she doesn't sell the cookbook, she sends them as a token of love to you for your one-time pledge of $50. And you, you say, well, I can't do $50, you can do $25 a month for two months. And this will help you to be able to receive your cookbook the second month that you make your payment. They will mail your cookbook out to you as well. But we do need to hear from you. We need to know that you are watching tonight. Call in and let the girls know that you are enjoying Lisa tonight on Everyday Manna. Uh, she seems to be doing a lot better. So uh, this is a great night. It's, uh, it's a little cool out. You can't really get out side tonight so you can sit back and enjoy what's going on here at Living Faith TV. This is the place that it all happens. This is the place that Lisa started 16 years ago. Uh, remember because I, I've been here 17 years and she started about six months after uh, me and Pam Mullins came to work here about eight weeks apart I think and uh, Lisa started working on this cooking show and it was preordained by the Lord. And there's been great things happen. There's been so many prayer requests that has been called in during the cooking show, the live cooking show. And we always have had someone call in that want to be saved. You know, uh, it's a great thing when Lisa finds out that someone has called in and gave their life to the Lord during the time she was live. And you know, the one thing that I've noticed too is she has as many men that enjoy the cooking show, that enjoy the uh, recipes. She has just as many men as she does women. So all of you men that enjoy watching Everyday Man, pick that phone up and call in. Call your mother in a cookbook. Call your children in a cookbook. Let them know that uh, they need to start watching Everyday Man because these recipes are worth buying the ingredients for. And we've got one line open, Two lines open, three lines open right now, and Mike can take your call on the side. So call 888-275-9534. And you know something I've learned that, you know, when you're in God's will, you prosper. And the, the cooking show is of God because there's been so many great things that's happened here during this time of everyday man. So... Uh, get in, the phones are ringing. Get in line. Get your cookbook before Lisa starts back on her segment. Uh, I, I watched when she started uh, on her cooking show, and it started growing, and it just took off, and it became the number one watch show on television. Uh, there was a lot of men that were single, that uh, was uh, widowers, that were uh, actually they just uh, they had to cook, and they started watching Lisa's show. They started calling in and saying, hey, you know, I, I, I've learned how to cook by Lisa's cooking recipes and watching her cook on Everyday Manna. And uh, one night there was a judge called in and he gave his life to the Lord and he had watched the cooking show down through the years. And God has his hand upon this cooking show. And when you when you bless into something that is in good soil, that is anointed, then you're blessed. We're blessed and you're blessed. And so tonight, 
This is your night. This is the first night that she's actually gotten to come into your home live. We did some pre-recordings, but there's nothing like live. There's nothing like being back in this phone center and hearing these phones ring and, and hearing your voices come through saying, hey, I want to support Living Faith Television. I want to be a part of what God has placed upon Lisa's heart tonight. So you're very welcome to call in and be a part of this uh, segment. Okay. This is a just a live segment of cooking. This is what it is. It's Everyday Man of Cooking Show, and that's that's just what we're doing tonight. So, Miss Brother Stanley, he's a little bit under the weather, but hopefully he'll be with us tomorrow night. Uh, if, if we get to come uh, on tomorrow night, uh, preferably he will get to come. So, uh, we want you tonight, this is the night this is the night that the Lord has made, and we, we want to be glad that we're, we are with you in your home. So just keep calling. I've got one, two, I've got two operators available, uh, three operators available right now to take your call. I've got two operators available right now to take your call. Call the number on the screen, 888-275-9534. All right, I've got Lisa Harless needs a call. I've got, uh, well, let's see, and Mike needs a call. So if you want to speak to Mike Smith, just call up and tell him you want to pledge for a cookbook. And I promise you he'll answer the phone. And we have uh, Lisa over on my left side, and she needs a call. So let's call the number 888-275-9534. As Lisa is taking her little break, we're going to get all these cookbooks out, and then you'll be able to sit back and relax and just enjoy what you're getting in the mail because these recipes are in the book. And if you've enjoyed uh, watching her make the French toast that she made out, out there a few moments ago, just pull it up in your cookbook when you get it and enjoy the recipes at home with your family. This is a great thing. Um, uh, I know at one time she made a recipe uh, uh, for Brother Stanley and called it Bobby's Butterscotch Bars. And they were awesome because he loves butterscotch. And there's just so many special things in the book. Uh, special recipes for desserts, uh, meats, uh, vegetables. There's just so many recipes that you can enjoy when you receive your everyday manna with Lisa. This is all American recipes, all American. So this is your time now. Uh, we have three phone lines available that can take your call as we speak on 888-275-9534. Let us hear from you. Let all these phones ring before we go back to Lisa. Maybe you've been praying about it and saying, I'd, I'd like to uh, I'd like to support Everyday Manor. This is your time. If you haven't received your cookbook, if you have received it, call in and pledge for someone else that you're expecting to go to an event. So as Lisa is preparing, she, she's getting ready to go back into the next segment. So we need we need you right now to uh, to come call the number. Uh, I have let's see, I have one. I have two lines open right now. Two lines open. We need to hear from you. We need to hear from you, 888-275-9534. So, uh, yes, that's right. Let the phones ring. Let them ring right now. Let us have all the phones ringing when we, before we take them back. Take it back to Lisa in the kitchen. As I'm watching her right now, she is working hard. She's prepping. She's getting ready to start the next segment. So you want to be able to enjoy that. And I've watched her down through the years, and a lot of people think maybe that it's easy to do what she does, but it's not. I know some days she'll say, I'm going to stay home and I'm going to work on my recipes and get ready for my next book. And she'll take days trying to get another cookbook uh, uh, prepared and, and set in order to order for you, for you to enjoy some of her homemade recipes. This is Lisa's homemade recipes. And it's for you to be able to enjoy uh, with your family as well. So tonight, I don't know if she is getting very uh, close.
close to going back to the next segment, but let us hear from you tonight as I'm receiving. Surely I'll take that. She wants this one and the last one. All right. I have uh, Brenda Webster of Knoxville, Tennessee, a one-time gift of $100, wanting the cookbook. Thank you so much, Brenda, for calling that in tonight. Uh, if I have any... Uh, if I have any of the pledges, would you send them over to me, please? Here's another one. Yes. Uh, yes, I have... Uh, I have Nancy Anzalin, Anzalin from Knoxville, Tennessee, a one-time gift of $50 uh, wanting the cookbook. All right, thank you so much from Knoxville, Tennessee. Wherever you're watching at tonight, why don't you keep calling? Uh, keep calling if you couldn't get through. That's it, let the phones ring. Uh, uh, as Deborah's gonna go over, I think, and get that, get that call. All right, our phone, uh, Michael, yes. And now Deborah needs a call over on this side and our phones are jammed and that's what we need. We need to hear from you tonight as they're passing these down the line. Um, and we'll be reading those. But keep calling, 888-275-9534. Um, if you don't want your name read, just tell them you don't want your name read on the air. And we'll bring up your location, okay? And uh, But we need to hear from you. The phones are jammed. The phones are jammed. Just keep calling 888-275-9534. But get your call in before we go on to the uh, next segment, and you'll be able to enjoy that. All right. We have Maryville, Tennessee, a one-time gift of $50, wanting the cookbook. And she needs her special prayer is for her unsaved son, and we just claim that with you in victory in Jesus' name right now. We claim that. All right, I've got, let's see. I've got one phone line open if you want to call right now, 888-275-9534. I have one line available for you to call right now. If you couldn't get through a while ago, just keep calling. Uh, let's get our cookbooks ordered before Lisa goes back to the next segment. So 888-275-9534. Three, four. This is a blessing when you call in and we receive your pledge. It helps Lisa to be able to keep everyday manna on the air and the station to go further down the road. So we want we want you to know what a blessing that you have been down through the years and what a blessing that you are that to be a part of everyday manna cooking um, family, I'm, I want to say, because we have so many people that have been watching Lisa for 16 years. Every time, every time the uh, Everyday Manna comes on, I mean, it's just thousands of people are watching, and they love Lisa. She cannot go in a store without running into people. Three, for her to go to Walmart, it's about a four-hour trip because everybody is running into her. And I know you're out there tonight. You can keep these phones ringing. And you can call in and support her. She works very hard to get these recipes out. And, and we're so honored tonight to be able to offer you the All-American Cookbook for a one-time gift of $50. If you don't want to pay the $50 tonight, you can, on a credit card, you can ask for $25 a month for two months. And on the second month, it'll be sent out to you. So call the number. Right now my phones are jammed, but I believe you can get through now. I've got one line open. One line is open. So call the number on the screen, 888-275-9534. I have Shirley Hopkins from uh, Bulls Gap, Virginia. Or is that Bulls Gap? Pit oh, oh, okay, Pennington Gap. Uh, One-time gift of $50, wanting the cookbook. Thank you so much, Shirley, for calling that in. Uh, everyone, just listen up right now. Get your call in before we go back to the cooking segment. 
then you can enjoy the show. And uh, Mike can take your call now. I think so I've got two lines open, two lines open. So let's get these calls in before we go back into the kitchen. Two lines open. There you go. One of you guys could. All right, now I've got one line open, Mike, because Mike's line's open now. If you want to call and get through to him, you can call the number on the screen. He is waiting patiently for you. Uh, I'm so thankful tonight that God has blessed Lisa tonight to do this cooking show and come into your home. And I really feel like you guys are enjoying it. And we are smelling the food back here. We're just waiting for these phone operators are waiting patiently to be able to taste of some of the recipes. But the ones that you're watching her cook are actually in this cookbook. They're in the cookbook. So uh, you gotta get your order in and make your pledge and you'll get your love token in the mail, okay? Uh, if you do by credit card, just remember, you will get your cookbook a lot faster. Uh, Pam will enter these in. Once she enters them in, she gets those credit card orders out very quickly. So we need to remember that to make sure we tell them that we want to do a credit card order, okay? And we'll get this out to you ASAP. So um, our phone lines are jammed. I have one line just came available, so you can get you can reach us now at 888-275-9534. The phone line, I have one line open. One line open right now. One line open. Deborah can take your call. She's available. Now Shirley is available. I have two lines open. Two lines open. I have Sylvia Brown. Uh, are of Anita, Tennessee, uh, one-time gift of $50, wanting the cookbook. Thank you, Sylvia, for calling that in tonight. Thank you so much. And uh, I know you're going to enjoy your recipes when you receive them, and they will be such a blessing to your family. So call the number 888-275-9534. Uh, I've got one line open right now. Our phone lines are jammed up but one line, so you need to keep those, keep pushing that redial button if you're trying to get through. Uh, Lisa is uh, getting ready to go into the next segment, so it's a great time right now to get your phone call in. So call us, call us from Knoxville. We want to hear from you. Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, we want to hear Virginia, Grundy, Richlands, Bluefield, Roanoke, we want to hear from our North Carolina people. We want to hear from our, on our Roku channel. We want to hear from our internet folk. We want to hear from Florida and from Texas and Mississippi. We want to hear from you. We want to be able to send you this love token uh, tonight for just supporting Living Faith Television and the Everyday Man of Cooking Show. Um, so many years now that Lisa has been doing this show and she has really, really, really been a blessing to a lot of people out there. And that's what it's all about, blessing each other. You all bless her with your pledge and with helping keep the show on the air. And she blesses you with a love token, one of her recipe cookbooks. So I have some pledges that should be coming up. And I have uh, uh, Emma Serva, Server. Uh, from Bluefield, West Virginia, one-time gift of fifty dollars of a hundred dollars, wanting to cook, but <laughs> Mike's getting a little pushy over here with this reading now. All right, I have uh, is that uh, Desi Midi? Midi. All right, from Pioneer, Tennessee. Yes, uh, twenty-five dollars a month for two months, wanting the cookbook. And thank you so much. And Mike really made sure you got that on the air. So he's, he's working well tonight. And uh, he's available now for another call if you'd like to speak to him. I have Shirley here that is available. I have, let's see, uh, my phone lines are jammed on top. Oh, but Michael Wilson, uh, he needs a call. He's just hung up and he's available now. And also Mike and Shirley. So let's keep those phones ringing, 888 
275-9534. This right here is what makes Lisa feel like that she's doing a great job is when everybody wants to share her recipes with their family. So you will never meet nobody like Lisa. If you ever out in a store, don't, I know you don't hesitate to go up to her, but she is a fine, fine young lady that loves the Lord and loves cooking and loves Living Faith Television. So this is what makes these cookbooks so special is the spirit that they're made in of love. And so if you have not gotten this in your kitchen, we urge you to get this tonight. And while you call in, don't forget on your pledge to give your prayer request. If you would like them to pray with you or, or you want to just send in a prayer request, make your pledge and tell them what your name your prayer, name it and claim it, and put that on there with us. All righty. So as of right now, I've got three lines open if you'd like to call. I have three lines open. Three lines open if you'd like to get through right now. 888-275-9534. There's any pledges, send them over. So we are working diligently to get these pledges in for the cookbooks. And I don't know if Lisa, how close she is to being ready to go on the next segment. But right now is your time, your time to get the cookbook, your time to get your pledge from Lisa of Token, okay? So 888-275-9534. Let us hear from you. I got three lines open. You can get three right now if you call the number on the screen. All right, I've got another pledge that's came over. All right, it is Henrietta Absher from Blacksburg, uh, Kentucky. All right, uh, one-time gift of $50, wanting the All-American Cookbook. Thank you, Henrietta, for calling that in from Blacksburg, Kentucky. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't know if I've ever read a pledge from there or not, but uh, thank you tonight. We have so many uh, uh, first-time givers, and we are excited about that as well. And so if you have just uh, started watching the Everyday Man of Cooking show, it's been on like 16 years, and Lisa has several cookbooks that has already been put out and sold out, and uh, she's always into making a new one. So uh, this is the All-American Cookbook. So if you are not familiar with what's going on, just call the number on the screen and you'll be able to receive one of her cookbooks with a one-time gift of $50. Um, or you can make two payments out of that, uh, $25 a month for two months. So either way, we want to hear from you tonight. All right, and we have uh, uh, we have uh, Miss Collins from Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, okay, Chris. Uh, Collins from uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, a one-time gift of $50 wanting the cookbook. I've had a lot of Knoxville uh, people calling in the last little bit, so you're coming through for us, and let everyone else fall in line in our other areas and states, all right? And we're excited. I don't know uh, how long that Lisa's got before she's going to take it. We're going to have to give it away to her, but we have... Uh, we have Elaine, Elaine uh, Deckard from uh, Webster, uh, Weber City, Virginia, a one-time gift of $50 wanting the All-American Cookbook. All right. She is, she is very excited for uh, Living Faith Television. She just asked for you to pray for her lost family, and we just asked the Lord to bless her tonight for her family to be saved, and we decree that prayer. Tonight, in Jesus' name, we ask it done. Amen. Amen. So uh, I also have uh, some more uh, prayer requests here as we're going along. In Greenville, Tennessee, I have a man with health uh, issues. Uh, I have, uh, let's see, hold on just a minute. Uh, we want to remember him that the Lord will just touch him tonight. In Jesus' name, with those issues. I have uh, Jean Royal from Beaver, West Virginia, 
a one-time gift of $100 wanting the cookbook. And I have uh, Billy uh, McCamey from Greenville, Tennessee, a one-time gift of $100 wanting the cookbook. So uh, I believe the phones are, I've got a couple lines open. Lisa's ready now to go back uh, into the kitchen. So keep this phone ringing, 888-275-9534. Well, let's go back over into the kitchen and we'll be back to read your pledge shortly. Let's go to Lisa now. Five, we've oh, around. we're back. <laughs> we, we, we didn't know they were coming back. I, I have an assistant. <coughs> Believe it or not, this uh, is my is baby. Cool. Yeah, first time I've <laughs> been back on this show in a long time. A long minute. He's going to help me tonight because I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm struggling a little bit no, with this voice. My peach bread is done. I wanted to show it to you. Yeah, you only put the one still on there, so that's but why it, I was going to give it back to you. Uh, anyway, no. there it is. <laughs> it's ready. It just needs to cool before you slice it. So we will put this over on our... It's hot. I was about to say. Not, not too bad, but... I don't want to burn the bottom of my hand. <clears throat> All right, Aaron. I'm going to put you to work, buddy. All right. Put me where you need me. We are going to start on some succotash. We're going to make corn, hominy, and lima, baby lima bean succotash. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay. I have a skillet here. I'm going to let you. You want to cut the bacon or you want me to cut the bacon? Yeah, I can cut the bacon. Okay. I've got here just a little bit of bacon. I want you to slice it, Aaron, into just pieces. It's a little soft, so it's a little harder okay. to cut. Just about like that, okay? And then pop it into that pan. Aaron's going to cut the bacon for me and get this into Ooh, our skillet. That is tougher. Huh? I said, whoo, that is tougher. Yeah, it's a lot easier when it's um, cold, but it's been out here under these lights, and so therefore it gets a little warm, a little harder to cook or slice, but Aaron is going to cut the bacon up. I'll go ahead and do the shallot for you, buddy, so you won't be crying. Actually, you probably wouldn't because you have it on contacts. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to use the recipe calls for a small shallot, and that's actually what I'm going to use. I don't normally use shallots, um, but I bet a lot of you don't know what they even look like. This is a shallot. This is just a small little shallot. If you don't have these, you could use green onion. You could use just a little bit of a white onion would be fine. But I thought this time I would show you what a shallot looked like. Uh, they're kind of a cross between um, a mild onion and a little tiny bit of garlic flavor. They, uh, I love them. They can be a little bit hard to find, but they're in every grocery store over there where you have uh, onions and things. I went to a grocery store a couple weeks ago in Johnson City, and it was the first time I had ever seen a banana shallot. That thing was long. It was m 10 times the size of this. I, I just was curious, so I roasted some. It was delicious. But um, a shallot is used a lot like in dressings and things. It's just it's a very mild oniony flavor. It's delicious. But you could use just a little bit of a white onion. You want just a couple of tablespoons of onion of some sort. Use what you have. I just thought this time I would show you. Now put that in the skillet. Be careful, that's hot. Okay. And you're going to just kind of stir that around until that is crispy because everything tastes better with bacon. Let me put this away while Aaron sautés that. To go alongside our succotash, we are going to make some Salisbury steak. Just let it cook. Is that pretty lean, you think? Let's put a little tiny bit of butter in there. If your bacon is lean and this is a little leaner, let's just go ahead and put maybe half of the butter. All righty, sounds good to me. I mean, it's just going to flavor it up. You'll never hear me turn away butter. No, it's good. 
Aaron and Austin. Austin's behind the camera. Aaron's up here helping me. Uh, just stir it, keep it stirring. There you go. Listen, these boys have helped me on this show since they were little fellas. What? Five, Since I was six, in elementary something. school. I mean, little, little boys. They've used knives like this all their lives. I used to hear so often, oh, they scare me to death with those knives. I've scared her <laughs> to death with those knives sometimes. Too. Yeah, sometimes, yes. To go alongside our succotash, we're going to make some Salisbury steak. I have here just a pound of, of ground beef. I'm going to add, and one egg. I'm going to add some breadcrumbs, some garlic powder and some salt, and I'm gonna add a little pepper. Where's my pepper mill? Does this one have any? No, okay, hang on here, guys. I'm about out of my pepper pre-gown. I need to grind some more up. Little bit of pepper, a little bit of onion in this too. Okay, we need to turn that down, do you think? Just a little bit. All right, let's turn it down to about five. Okay, that'll cut. And then I want to add just a little tiny bit of onion. This is just a regular yellow onion. I'm not going to use the whole thing. I'm just only going to do a couple tablespoons worth. Once that is sauteed and crispy, what Aaron's working on there, we will uh, add the rest of the ingredients on that. But you got to start with bacon. I just love bacon. We love bacon at our house. We love bacon. If you've watched this show at all, you know I love bacon. Just makes everything taste better, I think. So I'm going to add, I'm going to finely mince this. I don't want big chunks of <clears throat> onion. I bet a lot of you've never had Salisbury steak outside of the TV dinners. It's easy to make an infinitely better than those TV dinners. Okay, I'm just mincing up some onion here. Okay, I don't even really need all this. I just want about maybe half of this. I'm just going to put that right in there. How crispy are you wanting this bacon to be exactly? A uh, little bit more, a little bit more. You want it pretty well done because once you add the other ingredients, it's not going to crisp up anymore. Just for ease of cleaning up, I'm going to put on some gloves. <clears throat> I also need to add, I have one can of cream of mushroom soup. I'm not going to add the whole thing. I'm only going to add maybe, I don't know, a fourth of that can. Uh, we will use the rest of it, just not in here. And then get in there with your hands and mix all of that together. Okay, that bacon's looking good. All right, Aaron, add that shallot in there. He's going to add the shallot to the bacon. Okay, you want to saute that a little bit till that's cooked up. All right, all I'm going to do is take my meat mixture. This was a pound, and I'm going to divide it into four piece of uh, patties. I'm going to make four good size ones. You could do smaller ones and make more if you wanted. I think I made that a little big. I should have scored my beef. All right. Now, Aaron, mm -hmm. add the rest of that butter. Listen, if you want your children to learn how to cook, you got to get them in the kitchen. He can cook great. Well, I try my best. You do. Austin told me your lamb chops are better than mine. Well, I don't mean to brag, but. <laughs> you need to make your lamb chops on here for everybody one day. Yeah, I remember we talked about that at yeah. one point, but it hasn't happened yet. Well, they've been in school. They just finished up school. Got to brag, got to brag, got to have a mom moment here. Austin, who's behind the camera, just graduated from King University Saturday. Wow. He just graduated. With honors, I might add, I'm going to brag. I'm very proud of my children. Aaron has two more classes to take in the fall, and then he graduates. Austin finished with a degree in history. Aaron is a DMAD major, which is digital media. So that's great. All right. You want to add your lima beans? Right, we add it while okay. I 
lima beans and bacon. Oh, marriage made in heaven. I'm going to add some corn. I'm just using canned, but you can use fresh or um, frozen or canned. And then I'm going to add some hominy. I chose to use white hominy. Now, hominy is corn that has been treated and uh, it kind of removes that outer kernel. It puffs up. I love hominy. I'm using white hominy. It comes in white and yellow, but I thought it looked better with the white, so that's what we're using. All right, get all out of there. Stir that all together. There's a little bit of chicken broth there. We want to add a couple tablespoons or so of chicken broth. Turn that up just a little. And then once that comes together, now, if you wanted to add some roasted red pepper, you could. If you wanted to, that would be delicious. Um, or like a little jar of pimentos, you could add that if you wanted to. But this is just another version. I have two different versions of succotash uh, <laughs> in this cookbook. And then to finish, we need to add some salt and pepper, Aaron. Here's a little bit of pepper. You want to put a little salt in there? Yeah, what do you think, a couple of pinches? Just a couple of good Actually, pinches. I'll let you do that okay. because I don't want to stick my fingers in there for okay. the bacon. All right, good idea. All right, just some salt and some pepper and get that together. Now this is something you could totally put like in the crock pot, brown off your bacon and then leave the drippings in there and then add everything to it and pop it into your slow cooker and the longer it simmers together, the better. That's just a little bit of heavy cream. If you don't have any heavy cream, you could use uh, milk or half and half. The heavy cream just adds a little bit of richness to it and it's just delicious, just delicious. And that just needs to simmer for a few minutes, like 15 minutes or so, and it's done and it's just delicious. So I'll tell you what let's do. Let's put that over here. All right, let me get this one on, right. like five. We'll let that just sort of simmer and then put that skillet over there and we will get our um, Salisbury steaks on. Okay, 1-888-275-9534. Thank you for helping me. Was he was no behind the camera and he, he, he could just tell I'm struggling and he was like, I'll help you if you want me to. And I'm like, that would be great. <laughs> and the viewers love to see the boys every time I'm out with them. And, you know, everywhere we go, you know, I get stopped. And I love to meet you, love to meet the people. And if you or your brother are with me, they're like, I can't believe that's that same little boy that I used to watch sneak food. And you were mischievous when you were little on the, on the show. I'm still a little <laughs> bit mischievous. Still a whole lot mischievous. All right, Aaron, I want you to take... Um, that oil and put a little bit, just a little bit of olive oil or canola oil or something in your skillet. Okay, and then we're going to add our, I probably should have added the rest of those breadcrumbs. This is a tiny bit moist, but that's okay. We'll just let them go. We're going to saute these patties until they're brown on one side. Mm -hmm. Then we'll flip them. All right, just let them, let them go, and then we'll flip them. And in the meantime, I'll let you chop some mushrooms if you want, or do you want to man the stove? Which do you want to do? I'm good with wherever you want to put me. All right, whatever you want. Oh, it's up to you, buddy. If you want to um, chop onion, or not onions, but, um, you know, we well. could just add that to the sauce. Why not, right? I could chop the mushrooms, but the viewers might still have panic attacks that I okay. cut my fingers. All right, that's fine. I have here just one package of uh, Baby Bella mushrooms. I, I wash my mushrooms. I see a lot of people just take a damp paper towel. Listen, mushrooms are grown in dirt. They need to be washed. And I saw a, a documentary thing once a long time ago and it, they don't, if you, if, we're not letting them soak in water, we're just washing them 
off with water. They don't absorb all the water. You can see these are fine. But mushrooms are grown in dirt. I like to take the stem out. Completely up to you. If you want to use uh, little white button mushrooms, you can. If you don't like mushrooms, leave it out. It's fine. Or just make, make it with mushrooms and then those that don't like mushrooms, myself included, can just pick them out because the rest of my family likes the mushrooms. But you want to slice, I don't know, a couple cups of mushrooms. Where did you place the spatula? Uh, you're going to have to get a new one. Leave it alone, though. It needs That's to fine. cook just a minute right. more. Just for when it's time okay. to flip them. Yeah. Um, let that one side get good and brown. Stir the succotash. And this is one of those dinners that if you have your stuff prepped ahead, it can come together in no time. It's an old-fashioned dish that is it's delicious. I would serve this over mashed potatoes or egg noodles or rice if you wanted to. Serve it with your succotash and it would be delicious. But you're watching us do this in real time. We're, we don't have anything cooked ahead. You're watching it start to finish in real time because I wanted you to see that you can, you can do this. Anybody can do this. You just have to get in the kitchen. When Aaron was a little child helping me, he didn't know how to cook, but he learned and he's learned through helping me here and helping me at home. And now, as recently as last night, I'm like, Aaron, you want to grill? We had um, uh, something that needed to go on the, the grill outside. I said, Aaron, you want to man the grill? You want to grill this for me? And he did. Albeit one of the little ribs kind of slid through the grill, but. But that was because they were thin ribs. We had uh, just the galby ribs, little beef short rib things. One They're out of delicious. 30. One out of 30 isn't bad. No. And you did a great job. They were delicious. So we've got our succotash. Let's go over here and let me check this out. I think this is probably done. Uh, I'm going to need a bowl for the succotash and a plate for the Salisbury steak with gravy. So it needs to be have some depth to it. This looks amazing. Now, if for me, this is a meal. I would totally eat just the succotash. I love it. It's so good. As a matter of fact, I need to taste test because you always have to try your food. <laughs> mm, I love lima beans. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just enough bacon flavor. That is so good. You want to try a bite? You want it? Um. Wait. I'm good for now. I just had some of the French toast. You ate toast. the French toast, didn't you? Yeah. All right, let's check our. Yeah, they. Okay. Looking Thank good. you. I made these a little bit too wet. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I should have used all of my breadcrumbs, and I didn't. So they're kind of. It's okay though. They'll still taste delicious. You want them to get brown like that <clears throat> and then flip them over and cook that other side. Um, Aaron, if you want to be gathering these ingredients over here, I'm going to get you started on the banana pudding. Okay? All right. All right. Aaron is going to make a banana pudding that is my favorite banana pudding of all time. It is so good. It's delicious. It's a cream cheese banana pudding. Can and it's yummy. Quick? Yeah, wash your hands. And uh, you know, we probably need to flip this board over, honey, because I chopped onion on that. I don't think anybody wants to have onion in their banana pudding. And I forgot to chop the parsley for the Salisbury steak. But you are gonna take a couple of teaspoons of Salisbury steak and put it in your um, meat mixture, but we'll just put it in the gravy. All right, Aaron, what I want you to do, this is just some milk, okay? Okay. I want you to take that mixer. This is just some vanilla, instant vanilla pudding. 
And we're going to mix all that together first. Okay. He's going to mix that together. All right. This is done. Our succotash is done. So let me put this in our serving bowl. Yum, yum, yum. Look how good that looks. You could even chop some of that parsley if you wanted to. And I just got some bacon grease on me. That's okay. Oh, look how pretty that looks. If you wanted to add some red pepper to that, you could. It would be yummy. Or leave it out. It's yummy. Either way. So there is our succotash. Push the button. Huh? I'll push the button. Uh-oh. What happened? We're good. All right. Okay, here's the succotash. Now, um, Aaron. Yes, ma'am. What I want you to do is take the, uh, let's see. I forget what I'm doing here now. The sweetened condensed milk. I've got one can of sweetened condensed milk. Wait a minute, don't put that in there yet. One block of room temperature cream cheese. Put this in that bowl. All right. Beat it till it's fluffy and then put in the sweetened condensed milk with that. All righty. All right, back to our Salisbury steak. I'm going to take the patties out. Okay. And Don't to add the whole thing, correct? Add the whole thing. We are going to saute our mushrooms. 1 888 275 9534. I'm going to saute my mushrooms in that. I'm going to add just a touch more oil. I just want these to get good and soft. Now, once that's kind of fluffy like you've got it right there, add in your sweetened condensed milk. Here's your little spatula to help you get all that out. Thank you. Okay, we're going to saute our mushrooms. 1-888-275-9534. You can get your copy of the All-American Cookbook. I guess I shouldn't put that on that eye that was hot, should I? You good over there? I'm doing good. Okay. Just making sure I get all that condensed milk out. Yeah. These I'm just sauteing just until they're tender. Salt and pepper them. Now mix those ingredients together. Pam, can you get me the, um, the trifle dish back here? Okay, we're just gonna saute those real quickly. Turn that up just a little bit and beat that till it's smooth. All right. Oh, looking good. Hang on just a minute, let me grab this. I need to chop up a little bit of parsley for my gravy. Oh, I need a board here. Hang on just a minute. All right. You good? You got it. Okay. Nice and mixed. Now, wait just a minute. Let me get... Now, I used to have an help. Let's set that right there for a minute. Okay, yep. Now, we'll need to chop up, slice your bananas. I'd start with three. Okay, start with three bananas. You just need a little knife. Here's a sharp paring knife, be careful. Thank you. Do you ever not say that to your children? <laughs> I don't think it ever, you stop, you never stop. You say All three? right, I'm gonna add, I'd start with three and then we'll see if we need more. Nice I'm gonna three. add the rest of that can of soup and I'm gonna fill it with some water about halfway. And I'm adding that to my mushrooms. I'm just gonna make the sauce, that's all we're doing here. Just making a gravy. I'm gonna add in that parsley I just chopped. All 
Friday. Yum. And I'm going to slide these steaks, little hamburger steaks, back in. And again, I would serve this over egg noodles or um, mashed potatoes alongside some mashed potatoes. Let's add our meat back in there and let that finish cooking through. Just let it simmer in that sauce. Turn it down to like low and that needs to simmer for about 15 minutes or so until that's cooked through. All righty, Aaron's got our delicious banana pudding going. Let me get rid of this stuff. Okay. I like to serve mine in a pretty little trifle bowl. I just think it looks pretty, but you can serve it however you want. You can make it in any kind of dish that you want. Last banana. I'm doing some, we need our, um, I'll get it. Drinking my hot tea here. Let that simmer a minute. I need to get a carton of thawed Cool Whip or whip topping of your choice or make your own. <clears throat> and we are going to put about half of this in the condensed milk, that one, okay? Uh, let me just grab another. You good? We're going to put some of this in here just to kind of lighten that up a little bit. So mix that in with that. And... Ooh, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. I like to kind of put some of the sauce over top. Let it kind of, you know, fill that whole hamburger steak or Salisbury steak with it. You could add some Worcestershire sauce to it if you wanted to. It's delicious with some Worcestershire. All of these recipes are in the Everyday Manna cookbook. The All-American Cookbook, 200 Recipes, Uniquely American. Yes, American food is delicious. We have things here in America that are uniquely American. All right, we are going to Oh, we got to combine. <laughs> uh, combine that with that. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should pour it. Oh, yeah, I was about to say. It's kind of Yeah, thick. we're combining the vanilla pudding. By the way, you could use banana pudding. You could use, you uh, could even use chocolate pudding. It's delicious with that. chocolate. You could use um, uh, coconut. You could use cheesecake. Whatever kind you want. Whatever you want to do. Now, I'm going to put, you can just... Whip that together. I'm going to line the bottom of this with some Nilla wafers. Just in the bottom. 1-888-275-9534. If you're just tuning in, probably notice I sound like a bullfrog. That's because my allergies have flared and my voice is holding on for dear life. Okay, that looks good, bud. Now, put you a big old dollop of that evenly, not all of it, just a layer over that. Men need to learn how to cook too. He's not a baby anymore. He'll be 22 mm -hmm. soon. Here in about a month. Yep, my baby's all grown up now. All right, mm -hmm. then put a layer of your bananas. Just layer them, sprinkle them over there. I'm keeping an eye on our Salisbury steak. 1-888-275-9534 for your copy of the, let's put them over here, uh, All-American Cookbook for your gift of $50 or more to living. That's good. And then I will put another layer of Nilla wafers. And you just repeat the process till you get to the top. Okay. You want to do this, or you want me to do this part? I can do the bananas and the. Okay, you the do filling. the bananas and the 
I love it when my children help me. I love it. I love to be in the kitchen with them. I love to be with them no matter where they are. I take after you. My hands are all sticky. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, your hands are your tools in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. They really are. Can't remember the last time I've cooked without getting my hands dirty. Uh, you never do. I don't know of a single person that can cook and don't get their hands dirty. If so, they're not cooking. Okay. Layer of pudding. Try not to get it to the edges so you can see the different layers. If you can. Just kind of spread. That's good. Spread it out. A little bit. Just a little bit. I like to see the individual layers. If you've got some sliced strawberries, some sliced strawberries would be good in this too. Ooh, yum. And then a layer of bananas. Mm -mm -mm, I can't wait to eat this. This is such a good banana pudding. It's delicious. I think we're probably going to need those other two bananas. Yeah, I was thinking the same. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Mm, I love banana pudding. I believe this is about done, which is fine. 1-888-275-9534 for your copy of the All-American Cookbook, Everyday Manna. Okay, you can get through right now. I know you want to watch this handsome young man cook. My baby. Been oh, a while. I'm pretty sure they come for you. <laughs> Until you all show up. <laughs> and that's okay. Been a while since you've been on with me. It has been a while. It's been, a, it's been too long. Oh, wait a minute. I need to do my job, don't I? I'm just standing here. All right, let me do my job. Just stand in there and look pretty. I'm standing here looking at you. All right. We are going to layer. And when you get in there, I kind of like to sort of, you know, if you've got a glass dish, make it look pretty. You know, you want it to be pretty. one 275 9534 for your copy of the All-American Cookbooks. This is one of those dishes that you could make ahead and take to a picnic, take to um, someone that you're taking a meal to, take them a little bit of banana pudding, or just keep it for yourself, or serve it for dinner. You could make it in individual little trifle dishes. It's really good like that. I've made little individual puddings. Like Mother's Day's coming up. Absolutely, make this. Kids can do this. Little kids can do this. Serve it to mom. She's going to be thrilled. You could slice up some strawberries if you wanted to or raspberries and put in there. Would be delicious. Put a little bit more on the side over here. Just a little bit. Okay, now put some more bananas. And that'll be our last layer of bananas. Put the rest of those in there. And over there. Oh, got one. That's okay. <laughs> The more mm. I drop, just mm. means the more we get to eat. Mm -hmm. mm. So good. And the last three pieces. We'll put a few more of these in here. Listen, you can make as many or as few layers as you want to. It's up to you. And then we'll put the rest of our pudding mixture over. Wait a minute, let me put a few more of these on. And then we'll top it. And we'll eat it. Oh, so good. So good. All right. The rest of that. Mm, 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 mm. Yum, yum, yum. You know yum. what we should have done? We should have crumpled some up the top to that's sprinkle over the top. Of right it. there what that's for. Ah, we think ha -ha. alike. We think exactly alike, buddy. You can tell that I learned from you. Now, put that and then put the rest of this cool whip. On top of that, let's get a new, a new little thingy. Okay, we'll just put the Cool Whip on top, if you want, and I do. Just if you've got the spray kind, make a decorative little pattern. You do what you want. You want to get that? I think under there somewhere, Aaron, is a rolling pin or a meat mallet. Or something. There's a meat mallet. Okay. You want to crunch those up and sprinkle them on top. All right. Let me 
wash my hands. <clears throat> and Aaron's sprinkling those on top. That looks good. That looks real good. You can, of course, add some pecans on top if you want. I don't want to this time. I think it's perfect the way it is. The rest of it will come out. And we've got a delicious cream cheese banana pudding that I cannot wait to dive into. And our wonderful Salisbury steak is done. And listen, you've got a meal ready to go in no time at all. Mm. Put that other piece. And then top that with your gravy. Oh, that looks good. Serve it with some, like I said, mashed potatoes, egg noodles, rice, whatever you want to serve it with. These are just three easy, easy to cook, delicious meals any day of the week. We, they all come out of our All-American cookbook. Let's get rid of that real quick. This cookbook, the All-American Cookbook, all of the recipes in here are uniquely, using ingredients that are uniquely American. Here on page 27 is a rich and creamy mashed potato recipe that would be perfect with that. You could, um, our succotash recipe, that one right here, is on page 26. Above it is another recipe for succotash that is using some different ingredients. It's yummy. Sunshine Sweet Potatoes, 1-888-275-9534, if they'll get Sheila ready, lined up to read. We've got grits, because you know grits are a southern thing. Oh, Shrimp yeah. and grits. You know, I've always wondered about grits, and then I, I was so ready to try them, mm -hmm. and then I didn't like them. You didn't. It made me sad. I, I, it depends. I'm a person, if I'm going to eat grits, I want a little bit of sugar in mine to make them a little sweet. Some people don't like sugar in them. I like sugar in them. My mama always put a little sugar in there. See, I've tried it both ways, and I'm the same way with watermelon. Like, some people put salt on it. Oh, yeah. Nothing I can do can make me like them. I love watermelon with a little salt on it. And you know something? I love the smell of cantaloupe, but I can't stand to eat cantaloupe. I know. It I has know. a very nice, sweet I smell. I love, love the smell of it. But we've got Parmesan corn. We've got a zucchini corn saute. We've got some sautéed squash, Vidalia onion casserole. Can't wait for Vidalias to come into season and peaches to come into season. A bushel of them. Oh, you're going to go down crazy. Your chin. Yep. We have this one little place in Georgia that we stop. Savannah. In Savannah that I always, if I'm, if I'm going that direction and it's peach season, I have to stop. I don't remember the number of the exit. It's right off the interstate the best peaches I've ever put in my mouth. And I literally will buy like a big, probably half a bushel mm -hmm. and eat them all myself in about three days time. I love peaches so much when they're good. I've witnessed that. Yes, you have. The butter sauteed apples that we made just a little bit ago, we've got barbecued mm -hmm. ribs, Western barbecued ribs, which mm, 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 mm. you could use beef ribs. Pork you ribs. could use pork ribs or a combination. Either one, they're all good. Um, I was born in Baltimore, Maryland, and I lived there uh, the first seven years of my life. And I remember so well my mother and father, daddy would take us to the docks and we'd get fresh crab right off the boats and shrimp right off the shrimping boats. And mama would, we would boil, she would do it, you know, the, the boiling the crabs in the Old Bay Sea. It has to be Old Bay, it can't be any other brand. It has to be Old Bay seasoning. And um, mama would take, if there was any leftover, or she would buy the little cans, not the big expensive lump can in the meat, but in the regular grocery aisles where the tuna and whatever is, usually on the top shelf, you can get cans of uh, crab meat. It's a little bit more affordable. And Mama would make Maryland crab cakes. This is my mother's recipe on page 43. Mama would make crab cakes like nobody's. Be oh, they were so very, very good. Oh, that takes me back. Old Bay seasoning has to be 
Obey. It can't be any other brand. I mean, it can be, but it won't be as good. Obey is the best. Obey is the best. New Orleans barbecued shrimp, and it's not what you think barbecue. It's not what we think of barbecue as doing it on a grill. That's not what New Orleans barbecue shrimp is. It's, a, it's got a sauce that it stews in the sauce, in a hot, spicy sauce. It is fabulous, mm. fabulous. Catfish almondine. We have a pasty recipe. Now, Mike's grandmother, Mary Lou's mom, grandma, as we called her, Grandma Roberts, I loved her dearly. She is the one who taught me how to make pasties. She was from, lived in Michigan. Her family was from the Ukraine, Cro Croatia area over in their immigrants. And so they brought that with them and she showed me how to make pasties. So we've got Upper Peninsula or Upper Michigan area pasties in honor of Grandma. We've got salmon cakes, shrimp and grits, Sloppy Joe's, our Salisbury steak recipe here on page 46. A pot roast, a Yankee pot roast. Does it get any more American than that except for maybe a New England boiled dinner? You know, with the corned beef, but a Yankee pot roast. It's so delicious, I love it. Meatloaf, brisket, the steak, chicken fried steak or country fried steak and gravy. I every, like that. Every time she cooks that, I get happy to come home. <laughs> that's really a very vet. I think that's probably my family. I think that's probably right up there in the top three recipes that you all like. Yeah, probably like. top, yeah. Top, top three to five. Yeah, because they all, and fried chicken is number one. But, Always. Um, buffalo wings, this one loves wings. We've got the New England boiled dinner here on page 50. Mm -hmm. We have a, ch uh, a Charleston. South Carolina sesame chicken, a Kentucky hot brown, which is the open face hot sandwich that is so good. And if my voice holds out and if I'm able to do another live one tomorrow night, that's on the menu. I'm making no promises at this moment. We will see chicken Hawaiian. We're gonna make that in just a little bit. A Key West grilled chicken. Key West is known for lime everything and it's so good. Chicken luau, we've got a Tex-Mex chicken pasta, mm. a country style shake and bake chicken using homemade, not the store-bought, but this is a homemade coating that's so good. We've got grits and sausage breakfast bake. We have um, apple pies, homemade mm. little hand, hand pies, little homemade fried apple pies. Our French toast that we made earlier Sausage gravy that you eat with biscuits and gravy. You can either do it with bacon, which I do, or sausage, either one. We've got that. We've got the southern fried chicken. I mean, doesn't get any more American than fried chicken. We have a chicken breast with a cranberry orange sauce. In the, in the northeast <clears throat> part of the U.S., cranberries are a big thing, and um, it, they're delicious. And so we've got a... a orange cranberry sauce with chicken, ham and eggs. We have New Orleans beignets. Oh my word. You can get in the grocery store the Cafe Du Monde coffee that they serve at Cafe Du Monde, which is the one and only place I've ever had beignets. Mike and I had gone to a, uh, a, a cable convention show in New Orleans years ago and um, I told him, I said, I have to go to Cafe Du Monde. That's like the oldest, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, it's the oldest continually serving diner type place in the U.S. And all they have is chicory coffee and beignets. And the floor is covered with powdered sugar. The beignets are covered in powdered sugar. The coffee is strong. The beignets are hot. And I was in heaven. We went every day that we were there. It was so incredibly good. We're not in New Orleans. If you are, you're lucky if you get to have that all the time. But we can make them at home, the beignets. My mama always loved salt rising bread. Mm -hmm. A lot of these recipes are, you know, from my mom. They are things that were in her recipe box that I have. And um, I remember her and daddy used to love to, to eat the salt rising bread, so that's in honor of my mama. A Chicago deep dish pizza, Johnny Cakes, Tex-Mex cornbread, peanut brittle, a pecan pie, pralines, which is a, a, a pecan coated in a 
crunchy, oh, so good. Sweet brown sugar milk, yummy. Oh, that's what those <clears> are? <throat> yeah. I've always loved those, mm -hmm. especially putting like Just putting them over the ice name cream. Of them. Oh yeah, crunch them up over ice mm -hmm. cream is really good. Delicious. Especially when they're warm, over oh, it has cold to be warm. ice cream and it melts so good. Oh, there's something about warm and cold, like yeah. brownies and like hot brownies and cold ice cream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. brownies right out of the oven. This recipe right here is on page 77. We have cherry cobbler. Are we ready to go to the phone room? We have our Texas chocolate cheese, or chocolate cheesecake, chocolate sheet cake. Sheet cake. We have got uh, apple, two different recipes for apple pie. Your favorite cheesecake, which is New York style cheesecake. That's your birthday cake every year. I make that every year for his birthday. Yeah, I love I love cheesecake and I've, it's always been my favorite, mm -hmm. but I have to say one day we, we're in New York and we decided to go down to Juniors yeah. who makes, they're famous for their cheesecake. Mm -hmm. They are famous so for their cheesecake. So I decided to give them a try, which was the best and worst decision I could have ever made. <laughs> Why? Because I, we went in, we ate, we mm -hmm. got the cheesecake mm -hmm. and I tasted it and it was the absolute best cheesecake that I'd ever had. And so every cheesecake after that has been kind of lowered in its comparison next mm -hmm. to it. But they actually have their recipe online, uh -huh. and I've had her mm -hmm. make it for me a, a few times, mm -hmm. and it's almost just as good, mm -hmm. if not as good, as yep. in the store. It is, it's easy. Now, this is not Junior's recipe, no. but this is um, a simpler version of that, because that one's a little more involved. But this is just the plain. New York cheesecake does not have topping on it. It's plain, and it's so good. We have a Coca-Cola cake. My favorite nut is a black walnut, and we've mm -hmm. got black walnut pound cake in here. A southern cream pound cake. Pound cake is my favorite kind of cake. I love pound it's cake. Delicious. We have cookies. We have Mike's favorite, your dad's favorite, no bakes. Some people mm -hmm. call them preacher, preacher cookies. cookies. Some people call them no bakes. We've got goober butter cookies. If you like those, what are those? Um, what do I like? Those candy, that little peanutty taste candy. Nutty. Nutter, but, nutty, nutter butters? Nutter butters. Nutter butters, yeah. Couldn't remember the name of it. This is kind of reminiscent of nutter butters. <laughs> so good. Dangerous for me to have around. I love those things so much. I'm sure you could use a oh, sugar substitute in oh, that too. Oatmeal cookies, I probably could. Uh, turtles, not the real turtle. I would never eat a turtle. But uh, this has got the pecans and the legs and the homemade caramel on it. So deliciously good. Applesauce honey cake uh, cookies double chocolate cookies. Then we've got a this and that section that's got just some simple things that we need to know how to make. We need to know how to make an onion sauce for our hot dogs, homemade whipped cream, a rub for your ribs or your steaks or whatever, your pork chops, whatever you want to grill. I've got a delicious rub on here, how to make a brown gravy to serve alongside anything, a mushroom gravy to ser serve alongside anything. Many, many, many more recipes. There are 200 recipes in here. All easy to do, things that are delicious and easy to make with ingredients that you can find in any grocery store. <clears throat> because I know not everybody's like me. They don't enjoy going to these oddball grocery stores that I've drug you to your whole life. <laughs> I gotta admit, when I was younger, I, I, I thought some of the food was interesting, but I, when I was too young to understand what was going on, I hated the smell. Yeah, but but it's interesting now. Oh, you it's enjoy interesting. It. Yeah, once you see the interestingness yeah. of it and you understand it, you, you'll go there all the time. But I don't. For for this program, we I really really just strive to use ingredients that you can find at your local grocery store, whatever that grocery store may be. If it's Walmart, Food City, Kroger, Food Lion, Harris Teeter, whatever your grocery store is, are all over Meyer. I mean, I've got people that watch this from all over the U.S. from all over the world. So wherever, whatever your grocery store is, you can find these ingredients. There's nothing that you really need to, to source out um, that you gotta order from Amazon or wherever. These are ingredients that you can find in your local store. Let's go to the phone room and see uh, if uh, who's been calling because I know what happens the moment we stop cooking those phone lines are fixing to get jammed. So you can text uh, to uh, 23 giving to the number on the screen, 
502-650-9147. I don't have that one memorized yet. Uh, you can text that and it'll it, and just put in there uh, uh, the 23 giving. Pam will know what it is for based on the date. Or you can go online to livingfaithtv.com and go to the bottom of that first screen that pops up. And it says online giving. Donate now. Okay. Donate. It's been a minute since I've looked at that. Uh, or you can call 1-888-275-9534. Make sure, by the way, make sure that as soon as you hear that welcome message, hit zero. You do not have to wait for that thing to finish talking. Just hit zero, and it'll take you right back there to the phone room. And make sure when you send in your gift uh, of $50 or more that you put a note somewhere on the check money order or a little sticky note or something enclosed that you want the All-American Cookbook. Make sure that you do indicate that on your check or money order or on the letter something so that Pam will know that you want the cookbook. So let's go to the phone room. Let's hear who's been calling. And when we come back, we are going to make some more delicious food for you. We'll be back in a minute. All right, we're back in the phone center, and uh, we are uh, blessed with some recipes tonight. Uh, the girls have been eating. Well, Michael has too, and uh, they're just, all you can hear all over the phone center, boy, that's good. Yummy, yummy. Oh, yummy, yummy. Shirley hollering out. I, oh, man, that is great. Uh, I think they've enjoyed their night here. Uh, some of them the first time here at Living Faith Television, and Lisa is just cooked up. Uh, I was saying the storm out there in the kitchen and she's got some mean banana pudding coming up here in just a few minutes in the, out here where they're uh, taking the phone calls. But listen, uh, we need you to keep calling. We have all of our operators open except one. So you can call the number 888-275-9534. We need to hear from you. This is your time to get the All-American Cookbook. Uh, I just want to uh, honor some of our uh, donors tonight for uh, the pledge. I want to honor Ida Phillips uh, from Madisonville, Tennessee. Now, when you all think that uh, that you're too uh, too uh, old to get to learning recipes and cooking, uh, well, let me tell you about this little lady. She's 95 years young, and she loves the cooking show. So. She needs a cookbook. She wants to get these new recipes. Now, she's 95. So all of you folks out there, you can go ahead and call that number on the screen and call in your order because you don't never get too old to get a cookbook. Thank you so much, Ida, and we want to say hello to you tonight for calling in a one-time gift of $50 for the cookbook. So we have, uh, we have Jerry uh, Cusick from Bluff City, Tennessee, a one-time gift of $50 wanting the cookbook. Uh, we have Evelyn Ramey of Kingsport, Tennessee, a one-time gift of $50 wanting the All-American Cookbook. That's what you have to ask for when you call in. Just say, I want that All-American Cookbook. We have Taswell, Virginia calling in a one-time gift of $100 for two of the All-American uh, cookbooks. We have Judith Quick. Now listen, Judith is a member of our church and she lives in Rockingham, North Carolina and they drive almost every weekend to church. They leave home at two in the evening to get to our church at seven o'clock. So she's been with us a little over a year, her and about four or five other ladies and Judith says, I just want to donate. She's donating $75 one-time gift. Don't want the cookbook, but she wants to she wants to support. Thank you, Judith, for watching tonight from Rockingham, North Carolina. Thank you and your girls. All right, we have Doris Hensley from Gary, West Virginia, a one-time gift of $100, wanting two all-American cookbooks. I have Alma, uh, let's see, I have... Helen Blaylock from Sevierville, Tennessee. A uh, one-time gift of $50 for the All-American Cookbook. Now listen, while I'm reading, we need you all to get on the line. Get on your phone and call 
9534. As you can see these recipes, they are delicious and they are awaiting you and they want to come into your home in a recipe cookbook. So as Aaron is coming in and bringing all of this banana pudding in here to the girls, uh, just come on over and deliver it, it's fine. We are so happy to, uh, to be in your home tonight for you to be able to see some of the recipes that Lisa has made. And also, um, also Sevierville, Tennessee has come through and she wants us to pray for her granddaughter for salvation. And let's just pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. We want to honor, uh, honor this lady for calling in tonight. And she has a very special request, God, that her granddaughter be saved, Lord. We just decree this tonight, God, that you decree it in heaven and draw your spirit into her. In Jesus' name, we ask it done. Amen. Uh, we have... Uh, a lady in Beckley, West Virginia. Beckley, West Virginia. Going this way. Uh, let's see. Uh, Beckley, West Virginia. One-time gift of fifty dollars. You're good. And uh, she wants the cookbook. All right. And oh, you're good. All right. And we have uh, Boone, North Carolina. Now Boone has come through tonight. One-time gift of fifty dollars for the All-American Cookbook. Um, she said she's very thankful for the airtime in her area. All right. And she is very, very appreciative of Lisa tonight and all of the folks here. Thank you. And uh, here is some prayer requests. Now, Lisa, we need to hear from you. If you've been watching the segment that Lisa was out there uh, cooking, as you can see, Lisa's taken... She's, she's on a break right now, getting ready for the next seg segment, and we need you to get these phones to ringing. She works very hard. Uh, I have uh, the ladies all on the back row are members of our church, and they're, uh, they're, they're saying things like, I never knew there was this much to it when you turn the TV on and you just watch the cooking show or the telethon, but there is a whole lot that time is invested in what we do to get into your home. And Lisa works very hard. She's a nonstop except during her breaks to cook for four hours, different recipes that she has prepped, especially for you. And uh, this is the night that you can give back to uh, Everyday Manna Cooking Show. If you enjoy the show, then you need to call the number. You might be a first time giver. Maybe you have just, uh, uh, just come across Living Faith Television. I know I've came across um, a lady uh, the other day, Deborah. Her name was Deborah, and I'll say hello to them, her and her husband tonight. But Deborah didn't even know that uh, Living Faith existed, and she lived in uh, Blountville. So, uh, uh, you know, this is what this is what we want. We want the new people. We want new viewers to call in and say, hey, I'm a first time viewer and I want to support Living Faith Television. I want to be able to be a part of Everyday Man and Cooking Show. So uh, right now we have uh, some prayer requests in Pembroke, Virginia. We have a Johnny that his brain is bleeding and uh, is in critical condition. Uh, we have Pembroke, Virginia, uh, also health issues. Uh, we've got Mountain City, Tennessee, a woman. Uh, has uh, lost a family member. Is, uh, uh, has family members lost that need to be saved? So uh, we also have Bristol, Virginia, uh, a Diana that's in the hospital that's needing prayer. And let's just pray right now for all of these, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. We just come before you, God, for all of these requests, Lord. Uh, let that brain just let the bleeding stop. We believe it together in Jesus' name, Father. Let the salvations come. God, and touch those needs of healing. It's in a need of prayer. We just decree that on earth, Lord, and we decree it in heaven. In Jesus' name, we ask it done. Amen. All right. We're thankful tonight for, uh, for you and uh, for all the support that you have given uh, Living Faith Television. And we know, we know that it's because of you that Lisa is on the air. It's because of you that she is able to stand out there and cook. And tonight, your prayers tonight have brought her through. They have made her 
uh, she looks like she has more strength and she is just out there prepping it away. And so, ladies, how was the food? Are y'all excited for the next recipe? How is the banana pudding? I hear the word said fabulous. <laughs> fabulous banana pudding. Yes, yes. Well, uh, so you need the cookbook so you can get that banana pudding recipe out of it. All right, I've got Arlene Burns from uh, Alderson, West Virginia. Uh, One-time gift of $100 wanting two cookbooks. That's it. Let these phones ring. Let these phones ring. She needs prayer for her grandson, father, whatever his need is. You done bore that stripe, Jesus, on the cross. And we ask God that it be laid upon her grandson for a healing. In Jesus' name, we ask it done. Amen. We thank you tonight for calling in and supporting Lisa and Everyday Manna Cooking Show. This is, this is the time to call. Without you, Lisa would have no need to be here, but because you love the show so much. When a 95-year-old lady calls in asking for a cookbook, you're not too old to get a cookbook. And we thank her tonight for calling. But she, is, she was so excited to get this to order. And uh, I remember uh, in Boone, a little lady, I don't know, I think her name wasn't Mike, was it Hanshu, a little lady in North Carolina in Boone? Hanshu, wasn't it? I don't, we don't hear from her hardly. And I don't know if she's passed on or she was a real old like lady. And I've not heard, we've not heard from her in a while, but this other lady was 95 and she's from Boone. So we thank you, Boone uh, community, for calling in tonight. Now, uh, we have, let's see, I've got two lines open right now, and Mike can take your call as well. Two lines are open 888 275 9534. Let us hear from you as we speak tonight. I'm thankful. I'm thankful tonight is a good night, and tonight is a night that the Lord has made, and he's blessed it. And you want to get in on this blessing? You need a prayer request? You call the prayer request in, and we will pray for you. All right, let the phones ring. Now I've got one line open, one line open in the phone center, and we need to hear from you. Shirley, right here, Shirley, and she needs a call. She needs a call right now. Mike is over on my right, and he could use a call. So that we need to work him while he's here. So we need to, he needs to hear from you tonight. So call the number on the screen. You'll be able to speak to him or Shirley. All right, the phone lines are jammed but two. So call us right now. Call us, 888-275-9534. As Lisa's working diligently out there. You know what it is when she comes back and takes this little uh, break segment, she's really not resting. She's, she's not even sitting down. She's going on and working and prepping and pulling things together. Uh, from the time that she starts till it ends tonight at 11, she has stood and gave you all her heart's recipes and she's worked. And this is why that we appreciate her. And you need, if you love Lisa and you love the cooking show, this is your time to give back to her. And because God has ordered her steps in this direction to bring many blessings to your home uh, and your family to be able to enjoy her private personal recipes that she normally would just use with her family. And now she's bringing them into your home. What an awesome lady. All right, I have Forest Hills, West Virginia, a uh, one-time gift of $50, wanting uh, the cookbook. And she said, I have a special friend that needs a healing for diabetes. And we're just going to believe God for that right now. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, you done bore that stripe on the cross. And God, we just ask right now, Lord Jesus, that you heal these diabetes. We send angels right now to touch. And God, we need a victory praise report sent in. And we thank you for this tonight, for diabetes being healed. In Jesus' name, we ask it done. Amen. Amen. We have, uh, let's see, Shirley Collins.
from Big Stone Gap, Virginia, a one-time gift of $50 for the All-American Cookbook. And thank you so much, Shirley, for calling that in tonight. And uh, uh, we're, we're blessed, and you're blessed. And so tonight is your night. Lisa's still uh, working, uh, uh, prepping, so keep these phones ringing. We've got all of our lines are open as of right now. If you tried to get through and couldn't, you can get through. We have um, uh, Gloria Moore from uh, Boone, North Carolina. There's another call from Boone. Thank you, Boone, for calling in tonight. Just keep those calls coming. One-time gift of $50, wanting the All-American Cookbook. She's asking prayer for her entire family, special prayers uh, for her. She has a lot of health problems, and we'll just pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we just ask that you bless this entire family, Lord. Whatever they need, Father, we ask, God, that you move for them. Lord, and she has a lot of health problems from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet, Father. We speak healing over her body. In Jesus' name, we ask it done. Amen. Now, there is a presence here tonight, and that's when you get in with your prayer request. That's when you get in with wanting to be a part of Lisa's Everyday Manna. If anyone don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, there's always one person usually will call in wanting to give their life to the Lord, and you're able to do that tonight. Lisa is so excited to hear when someone has gave their life to the Lord on her segment of live. So tonight, if you're sitting there watching and maybe you just need restoration in your life, whatever you need, call 888-275-9534. Let us be able to pray with you. Let us be able to help you to be restored with, uh, with the presence of the Lord in your life by accepting Jesus. And, and we're just, we're honored, we're honored that you all are great supporters here at Living Faith Television. So, the number is on the screen, and I have one, two, I got three, I got three phone operators available right now. Three phones are available. 888-275-9534. Now, you got to admit, while, while you were watching, Lisa, do this cooking and the recipes. You got to admit they was fantastic. And they they had to make you hungry. Uh, my brother-in-law James says, every time I watch, I get so hungry watching her cook live telethons. So tonight, you got to admit you've had some great desserts. Uh, and watch Lisa bring it in because my ladies in here and the men too can tell you how they taste. And they said, fabulous. So those recipes are in the book. So if you don't have this book, I've had several that call in and ask for uh, two of the All-American cookbooks with a $100 pledge. If you would like one for your mother, one for your daughter, one for Mother's Day, for your mother-in-law and your mother, then call in 888-275-9534, one-time gift of $50, or if you want to do two months, uh, at $25 per month, but it would not get to you uh, by Mother's Day. You got to remember that. You would have to do a credit card for Pam to be able to get it out to you in time for that special day. Uh, but on up in the summer, if you have events coming up, then you are able to get this cookbook in to give as a gift at a wedding, to give a birthday party gift, whatever you need it to be for or you husbands if you would like to order this cookbook for your wife or your special lady in your life then dial the number on the screen and ask for the all american cookbook you will be glad when you get it and start uh, preparing these recipes that lisa has these are private recipes you won't find these recipes in any other cookbook these are her private recipes and and it is amazing that she has taken her time and, and has been felt led of the Lord to share with you all. Um, I, I, I watch as she uh, does her recipes. I, I, I'm in the office with her when she is ordering. Uh, we're picking out the covers for the cookbook that she sends out 
to get. And, you know, we're all here, some of us, when the cookbooks come in in the big crates. The truck brings the cookbooks. There's a whole lot to the process of getting this book in this station. And then we have to get it into your home. So she has take on, uh, taken on a great, great load and job when she took on the Everyday Man of Cooking show. But you know what? It's something she loves. I remember her saying her mother started her out cooking by the stove about three years old, and she has always been a cook. She loves to cook. So uh, tonight you won't be, you, you won't be uh, uh, sorry that you ordered this cookbook of the All-American Recipes. So now I have, let's see, I've got all of my phone lines are open, and we need to hear from you, 888-275-9534. I know that the time is winding down. Uh, we probably have about, what, an hour and a half maybe left, uh, about an hour and a half, so um, we need to hear from you. All right, we have Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Uh, we have uh, a one-time gift of $40, and thank you so much, uh, Bessie, for calling that in on tonight. And she has some prayer requests here. Uh, she has a daughter that needs prayer that has cerebral palsy. Uh, she also has a daughter, Ashley, that uh, needs prayer, and other people in her family needs to be saved. And uh, so just a whole lot there that this lady's calling in and seek and prayer for. So let's just pray. Father, we just call on Bessie's behalf to you, Father, asking that you just touch her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet, Lord, and let the branches from this prayer go out to her family and her children, Lord. Let them be blessed. God, we ask that that stripe heal uh, this cerebral policy from her daughter. God, and let there be a victory praise report come in to this place, Lord, and all of her family, God, she's asking that they be saved before it's too late. And we just honor you, Lord. We decree this prayer in Jesus' name. We ask it done. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. So tonight, we're praying over your request. We're accepting your cause for you to pledge for this uh, token to be sent to you of love from Lisa. And we want you to be blessed with the All-American Cookbook. It's been a great night. We have some more uh, great recipes that's coming up that Lisa's right now in the kitchen getting ready to uh, uh, go back into her next segment. But as of right now, the phones are still open. So I have all of my phone lines, well, all but one uh, lines are open. That's it. Get your calls in before, before Lisa starts back uh, cooking. So we want to hear from you. We need to hear from you. If you enjoy, if you enjoy Everyday Manna, let us know that when you call in. Let us know it's been a blessing to you. Well, I think we're getting ready now to go back out into the studio. Lisa has given me a thumbs up that she's ready. Our camera people are coming, and they're preparing to uh, uh, roll these cameras now for her. So we're going back into the kitchen very, very uh, shortly. But remember, while she's cooking, you can still call. The girls will take your calls. So don't stop calling because you get excited watching her recipes. All right, so uh, I guess we're almost ready now. Lisa said she is done. Uh, she's ready to start her next segment. So as, uh, as you call, 888-275-9534. We're going to, getting ready now to go back into the, the kitchen uh, with Lisa. All right, she's gave me a thumbs. Are they waiting on Aaron? All right, are we ready to go back into the kitchen now with Lisa? Let's go into the kitchen with Lisa. And we're back in the kitchen. And we are going to make for you some uh, Hawaiian food. Mm -hmm. We're going to make some Hawaiian egg rolls and a Hawaiian chicken dish that could not be simpler. That's where we're going to start. Um, we're actually going to start on the chicken and Erin, do you know how to turn the, that stove on? Okay, you have to do that. You have to hold it till it sings to you and then hit this one three times. 
All right, now hit the number you want on there, like seven. Okay, let that be preheating. Put you just a little bit of oil in there, about a tablespoon or so. I have one green pepper here that I am going to dice up. I don't have a big, I'll just use this one, it's okay. I have a big knife over here. Uh, you could use a red pepper, you could use a yellow pepper, you could use a bell pepper. If you're just tuning in, forgive my voice. I just sound like a bullfrog. It just is what it is. There's, I was fine till I got here, and then it just set in. It's actually better than it was earlier. Mm -hmm. It was going away pretty bad, though. Yeah, it was. I didn't know if I was going to be able to do this or not. But Aaron is going to step in here and help me. Are we hot, do you think? Decently so. Uh, it's Good enough. To warm up yeah, again. it's enough. Good enough. We're going to add our green pepper okay. to the skillet. Aaron is going to saute for me. And we're going to saute those until they are done. You could add some green onion to that or regular onion if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that right now, but you could. I have here one can of pineapple tidbits that I've drained and I put the juice, I kept the juice in here and I'm gonna add two cans of cream of chicken soup. I'm gonna make the sauce with this. Now this is one of those recipes that you could use uh, rotisserie chicken, which is exactly what I'm doing. Uh, leftover roasted chicken, if you have some of that, that would be delicious. Or you could poach some chicken, but you want about two cups of chicken that's cooked. However, you have it. Uh, I find the rotisserie chickens in the store, I'm telling you, they are just so useful for so many different things. And so um, I'm just using rotisserie chicken. I'm gonna, as gently as I can, mix those soups with that pineapple juice that we drained off of the pineapple. I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce. Do we need to turn that up, do you think? Maybe a little bit. Yeah, let's, little let's bit. go ahead and turn it up just a dot. Um, we're just going to saute that until the green pepper's tender. Then we're going to add some garlic. I'm not going to add the garlic until the pepper is almost done because I do not want that garlic to burn. I have here just some leftover rotisserie chicken that I'm going to chop into little bit smaller pieces. This is a mixture of both white and dark meat. You can use whatever you have. If you want to, if you've got some leftover grilled chicken, this is the perfect use for that. If you've roasted a chicken for dinner, perfect use, or just like, you know, get a rotisserie chicken and use them. I love the rotisserie chickens from like Sam's or Costco. They are so good and I'm telling you, you cannot buy a chicken and roast it at home for less money than you can get those chickens at Sam's or Costco and they are delicious. And a lot of times I will get those and just make some mashed potatoes and that's dinner. Some green beans. And they're good too. And they are delicious, yeah. What and it's they, a like, good value. They're like five dollars. Yeah, you can't, you can't buy a chicken, a whole chicken, for under five dollars. And then the time that you cook it, and you know, all of that, you you just can't do it. So I, I think it's a bargain. It's one of the best bargains in the grocery store. You want to have about two cups. Now that's obviously already cooked, so we don't need to. Add a little bit of salt and pepper. Over the break, Erin ground us some fresh pepper. We have a little pepper, well, it's just a little coffee meal. I've showed you this before um, that I keep here just exclusively for peppercorns. And I grind whole peppercorns in this. And enough to last a few days. Or you can, you know, grind out of your pepper meal. I promise you there's a world of difference in the pre-ground pepper and the freshly ground pepper. If you want your food to taste spectacular, get that fresh ground pepper. There's a big difference. Uh, all of the recipes that we're doing are in the 
All-American cookbook. Very easy to cook things that you can find in any grocery store, things like butter, cinnamon, baking powder, cranberries, walnuts, eggs, uh, butter, peaches, mm -hmm. and so forth. I don't call for any um, outlandish recipe or ingredients. The only thing, the only recipe in this book that you might possibly have difficulty finding is on page three and it's Dungeness Crab. But locally, we do have a, a seafood market that carries it in season. If you can't find the Dungeness, use lump crab, use blue crab, use whatever kind of crab that you want. Either Any of it will work. Dungeness is good, but it, it is very seasonal. It's a Pacific Northwest crab. They're huge crabs. Mm -hmm. They're delicious. Uh, they too. are delicious. Uh, add your garlic to that. Go ahead, put your garlic in there. You need a little thing to get it out. You got it? Stir that in. Gonna add our chicken to this. This comes together real quick. I would serve this over rice. I don't have any here, but if I was making this at home for dinner, I would serve it over rice. Then you're gonna add in your sauce mixture here. Just pour that straight in there, buddy. You need your spatula. Boy, I, I'm getting spoiled here and I'm telling you, he might have made a mistake by volunteering to come on here because he might just have to do this for me. <laughs> I'm not used to having the help, but it's a blessing. I'm telling you, it's a huge blessing. All right, stir that together. Let's turn that down just a little bit. You need another one, you wanna have two? I think I can get by with Got that. It. I like, have, sometimes I like to have two. All right, stir that together. You just want to heat <clears throat> that um, chicken through. That's what we're doing there, is heating that chicken. Can I have a dish for the... Uh, 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 for the chicken. Pam's gonna find us a serving dish. There we go, now it's starting to simmer. All right. You just wanna heat that chicken through, so it just takes a minute. It, it really doesn't take that long. Did you add salt and pepper? Yes, I, mean, so I probably should add a, just a touch more though. Yeah, probably. Can't have too much pepper. Not in my world. My daddy said one time he was watching Everyday man, uh, when he was alive and he told my mama, boy, that Lisa likes her pepper. Like, yeah, I do, I really do, I like pepper. Love fresh ground pepper. Pepper adds flavor. All right, now we're gonna add our pineapple tidbits. If you don't have the little tidbits, you can just use chunk and cut it up a little bit. If you have fresh, use fresh pineapple, would be delicious. I'm gonna chop a little bit of parsley just to serve with that because I think it just makes it look prettier. But that's delicious and it just needs to warm through. I mean, really, it just takes it a minute and it's done. 1-888-275-9534 for your copy of the All-American Everyday Manna Cookbook, 200 recipes. There are a lot of recipes in this book that are going to be so perfect for the seasons coming up. We've got, you know, Mother's Day. We've got picnics. We've got the 4th of July, Memorial Day. It's that time of year where we want to be outside grilling. And it's, you know, it's just perfect. A lot of the recipes in this would be so good for that. You've got the macaroni salads and two different potato salads and an egg salad and uh, lots of grilled things, ribs, baked beans, mm -hmm. oh, with so good, and some s different salads and soups and things that just would be perfect. Cookies and desserts and all kinds of things in this book using ingredients that are uniquely American. And that's pretty much done. So that's all you got to do. And you can pour that in your uh, serving dish, whatever you're going to serve it. Go ahead and we'll pour it in here and then we will serve. Now, how long did that take? Uh, 10 minutes at the most and you've got dinner done. I'm telling you, those, that rotisserie chicken is a lifesaver.
This is delicious. If you don't like uh, the pineapple, you could put in, cherries would be delicious in that. Um, grapes would be fantastic in it. If you've got some almonds, I would add in some sliced almonds just to add that little bit of crunch. I'm going to top it with just a little bit of parsley just to make it look really, really pretty. And there you go. I would serve that over top of rice or, or orzo would be good. Anything like that would be delicious. And there you go. You've got a quick and easy, delicious Hawaiian chicken dish. Now, we are going to make, let me get my ingredients here. Aaron, you can put that skillet in the sink. We are going to make some egg rolls. I love egg rolls. And I use these little wrappers for so many different things. All right, Aaron, mm -hmm. what I want you to do, on? yeah, turn it back on and get your um, heat on like seven and put quite a bit of oil in there. You want to have a large skillet and you want to add enough canola oil in the, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, go ahead. Canola or olive? Uh, canola, a neutral oil. Um, I need one of those nonstick skillets, please. We're going to heat that up to the, um, no, 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 you need a lot of oil. That's We're frying egg rolls. Oh, frying egg rolls. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We're going to fry those egg rolls. Okay, that's good. Now, we are going to need to saute the ingredients. So let's get this eye on, uh, like seven-ish. And we're going to, for our Hawaiian egg rolls, we are going to use some ham, just chopped up ham. Go ahead and put that in there. Now, I make all kinds of egg rolls. I make egg rolls that are, um, you know, Asian egg rolls. I use the egg roll wrappers to make pizza rolls. I use the egg roll wrappers to make uh, Philly cheesesteak rolls. You can make a cheeseburger egg roll. There are so many uses for those egg roll wrappers. They're just really a great thing to have in your refrigerator. And you find those in every grocery store where the, in the produce department, uh, usually where they have um, the herbs and sometimes the, uh, um, oh, what am I trying to say? Like the uh, tofu, that sort of thing. In the, in the produce department, you'll see the section that has the little um, egg roll wrappers and wonton wrappers and different things like that. This is just some fresh baby spinach. If you don't have any fresh and you've got some frozen, that's fine. Just thaw it and, and squeeze out all the moisture. Because remember, spinach is full of liquid. It's full of moisture. And you don't want that in your egg roll because that'll make it soggy. So I want to just chop up some of this fresh spinach. I like spinach. I think it's delicious. If you don't think you like spinach, you have not had it cooked the right way because it's yummy. All right, let's add this to the pan. All right, get that going. You don't need to add any salt to that because we're adding some soy sauce, but that ham also has some soy in it. Here I've got just some water chestnuts. This is for crunch. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna dice them up just a little bit. I love water chestnuts. They really don't have much flavor. They just provide crunch and it's good and yummy. <clears throat> okay, let's add this. Do we need to maybe add a little more? Yeah, we're good. Add a little touch more oil maybe. Yeah. All right, we've got here some fresh ginger. If you've never had fresh ginger, you just need a little bit. This little piece was probably 15 cents. If you want to uh, use some fresh ginger, take a spoon and just scrape the, the side of the ginger. And that just takes that skin right off. <clears throat>
or you can leave it on. This is new little fresh baby ginger and it really, really is extremely fresh. So that skin is so thin, it would be fine just to leave it on. Some people don't, don't um, peel their ginger and it's fine, you don't have to. I do if it's an older piece of ginger. Now here you can use a microplane or you can chop it. Uh, where are my microplanes? Huh? In the drawer. Okay, let's find. I have a lot of micro. Huh? This one has in the wrong one. All right, you could use any microplane. I like this one for, uh, it's called a rasp, but I love it. Feel which way, and I have it upside down. Feel which way the little. Things are open, and you want about an inch piece of ginger. If you're using <clears throat> the paste that you get in the tubes, which I do a lot, uh, turn this down? a tablespoon or so. What, honey? Should I turn this down a little bit? Or uh, a lot? No, leave it on. All right, you can add. We want a little bit of crushed pineapple and a little bit of soy sauce. Erin's going to add those two in there and just let that go. <coughs> Gives me. We're going to add some ginger. Do not substitute dry ginger in this recipe. There's a huge difference in the flavor. Dry ginger is great for baking, but it doesn't have the same flavor as fresh ginger. It, this has a bite to it, not a heat hot, but just, oh, it's so good. It's one of my favorite ingredients to use. It just adds so much flavor to so many different dishes. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, now that's good. I'm gonna add our ginger, stir that in. <coughs> I don't have any hot tea, I'm out. All right, that's it. You can cut that heat now. Let that cool just a second. Now, what you want to do, is our oil good and hot, do you think? Uh, it appears to be getting pretty hot. Do you okay. have any flour? Huh? Do what? No, you do. Oh, yeah, that's Drop fine. It. Yeah, yeah right. we're good. Okay. You want your oil to be hot. Not, you know, ridiculously hot, but hot enough. What we're going to do is create, you can take that off the heat now, over here, so it doesn't lose the, uh, here, put it right here, so I can work with it, just set it right here on that. Let me get this out of the way. You want that to cool down just a little tiny bit, not, not too, too much. I like to set up a little station. This one does not have cabbage in it. It has spinach. You could add a little more spinach if you wanted to. I didn't add too awful much, did I? All right, I like to work like four at a time. I need a little cup uh, with some water in it. <clears throat> now I need a spoon. Oh, no, oh, here it was. And what you wanna do, ideally, this would cool down a little bit more, but I'm on a little bit of a time crutch here. <clears throat> so. I'm going to take about a spoonful or so in each one. I bet you've never had a Hawaiian egg roll, have you? These are delicious. Of course, I love egg rolls of any kind. Don't overfill your ingredients. All right, this is how you roll an egg roll. Can you see? There we go. All right, you want to take your bottom corner come up. I like to kind of pull it back a little bit to make it snug. Fold in one corner, fold in the other corner, roll it up, take a little tiny bit of water on the edge. You'll need that uh, cooling rack too, honey. You'll need a cooling rack. Okay, I do. Take the bottom, fold it up, Turn in your corners, roll it up, and then once your oil is hot, Erin, you can drop these in, All right. seam side down, 
and they just fry for a couple of minutes on each side. They really don't take very long at all. Once they're hot, you got to watch them real close. Let's go, bed. I was about to say, I need a pair of tongs. Yeah, you do need some tongs. And then when they're done, when you take them out of the oil, make sure you put them on a, a cooling rack because if you lay them on a paper towel, they're just going to get soggy, and you don't want that. You want them to be uh, nice and crisp. If you have any leftovers, which is a big if, but if you have any leftovers, you can crisp them up the next day in your air fryer. Works beautifully. I made them at home, the regular egg rolls one day, and, and Mike and I were the only ones eating that day, and we had some left over. On the next day, we wanted them, and I just put them in the air fryer for just about a minute, and they were just perfectly crispy and yummy. Start your frying seam side down. one 275 Nine five three four. I got a room full of operators that can take your call right now <clears throat> at one eight 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 two seven five nine five three four. If you don't want to take the time to roll these up, you can use wonton wrappers or you can cut these into squares and place them in little mini. Uh, muffin tins and then spray them with some oil or nonstick spray, you know, of some sort. Put your filling in there and bake them at like 425 for 15 minutes and you've got little wonton cups. That works great if you don't want to take the time to roll them. Just another little, that's a cute little appetizer for any day of the week. Mother's Day coming up, that'd be the perfect little brunch to serve mom. And it's easy, you can do that with any egg roll, by the way. <clears throat> I don't like these baked, I like these fried. Um, I, I don't think they get crisp enough in the oven and I think they tend to over bake and the inside gets a little too tough. I prefer to fry these. There is a difference, okay? And as you can see, Aaron's only frying those for just, what would you say, a minute maybe on maybe, each maybe side? Maybe a minute, maybe not even that. Uh, if it gets too hot, turn your heat down. They really do not take any time at all. The filling is cooked. There you go. Thank you. So, you know, you don't need to uh, worry about doing that, but all of the recipes that we have cooked tonight are in the everyday manna all-American cookbook, 200 recipes using ingredients that are uniquely American. Nothing wrong with Chinese food, nothing wrong with Italian or Mexican, love all those things. But America has some great ingredients that are unique to us and the foods that are unique to America. This book has recipes from coast to coast. I've got some things in there from the Pacific Northwest. I've got some things in there from the Southwest, from the Midwest, from California, from Hawaii Maybe to the to South. Okay, you want to roll one? Good job. See, get your kids involved. They can do it too. Extra hands are great. And then I like to take a little bit of extra water on that outside. And there you go. There are Hawaiian egg rolls. You could serve that with some sweet and sour sauce if you want to. Careful, baby. I am. So and I'm dropping it away. Look how me. he's got that over a paper towel. And they just cook up in just a couple of minutes. They really are very, very, very simple to make and delicious and easy. 1-888-275-9534. For your copy of the All American Cookbook, we've got all kinds of different things in here. We've named off a lot of the uh, recipes that are in here. We've got Texas hush puppies, we've got cornbread muffins, uh, pecan monkey bread. So good. You ever had monkey bread? You know, the monkey, the biscuits that have the cream cheese in there and the cinnamon and the sugar and 
or I think the cream cheese makes it Gorilla Bread, I think is what they call that. But anyway, gorilla this bread. is yummy. And it's got pecans, I love pecans. Hoe cakes, we've got bacon scallion cornbread. We have got all kinds of different things. <clears throat> String beans with new potatoes and bacon. One of my favorite uh, recipes, you, in the South, we eat something called kilt lettuce. Have any of you ever had kilt lettuce? That's what mama always called it. Some people call it wilted lettuce, different things where you've got fresh greens, you fry bacon with a little bit of onion, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of oil, and you pour that hot over top of your greens. Well, we do this with the baby lettuce, but we add some, like a little radish in there, a little vinegar in there. It's delicious. We have um, southern greens, I love greens of all kinds. I love mustard greens, collard greens, turnip greens. It matters not. I love them all. They're so delicious. A mashed potato casserole that, you know, if, you've, if you're doing an Easter brunch or Thanksgiving or Sunday dinner, whatever it would be, this is a wonderful casserole to make. It has like a garlic uh, cream cheese herb, cream cheese in there, and you, you bake it with some Parmesan cheese on top and you get other ingredients, and it's just yummy. Uh, we've got some chili french fries. We've got a cherry salad with a maple balsamic vinaigrette, a grapefruit salsa, a sweet and sour uh, cucumber salad. We have cob salad. We've got Hawaiian chicken salad. We didn't make that tonight, but you could make that. It's got chicken and celery and grapes and almonds. It's really delicious. We have macaroni salad, a peach pasta salad, just so many different things in here. There are 200 recipes in this book, all uniquely American uh, recipes. I'll tell you what, let's go back to the phone room for just a few more minutes. We're going to clean up, and when I come back, we're going to make one of my most favorite things in the world to eat, and that is a strawberry shortcake, yeah. and then we're going to make a wonderful, easy chicken salad to go along with that. So let's go to the phone room, and then Aaron and I are going to clean up Mm -hmm. Our messy workstation. <clears throat> Taste your work. I'm going to make some hot tea. And then when we come back, we will make some other things. Let's see who's been calling. Don't wait until I stop cooking because that's when those phone lines jam up. So 1 888 275 9534. Or you can go online to livingfaithtv.com or you can text. To uh, 23 giving, they'll put the number up. I haven't got that one memorized. That's a fairly new one for us. And uh, I love it. It's an easy way to go online. And I set mine up to be a recurring thing because even though I'm here all the time, I still forget. And so that way I don't have to think about it. And it's an automatic. Matter of fact, I got my notification today that it went through. So it's an easy, quick way to. Uh, donate to Living Faith Television. I say this all the time because it needs to be a constant reminder. You are not buying this cookbook. You are supporting Christian television. And in return, we send you a copy of the cookbook. I have one of my two favorite sous chefs in the kitchen with me tonight. If you I'm not number one. Have it tuned in. Ah, you're co-number one. I have two co's, two co-sous chefs. Uh, the only two really that have ever been on with me, and that's my my youngest, my baby, who's not a baby anymore. Look at this. Let's say when I left off, I was he's, probably about. He's he's a head taller than me. How tall are you? Six one. Six one. Yeah, I'm five foot four, so he's almost a whole foot taller than me. But anyway, I'm proud of him. I'm proud of both my boys. Austin graduated Saturday from King with a degree in history, graduated with honors. I was so proud of him. And then you'll finish up in December mm -hmm. and graduate with a degree in digital media. I'm very proud of my boys. They were come a long way since they were those little fellas in the chef's hat, those little yellow chef hats. I still have those, by the I way. I forgot about that. <clears throat> and they are uh, somewhere out here on this set, actually. But anyway, let's go to the phone room, and when we come back, we'll make some strawberry shortcakes and a delicious dried cherry salad. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Well, we're back in the phone center, and I'm telling you, 
these guys have their eyes on those egg rolls. So I am sure that they better be getting some of those back here, even the ladies are, I hear some commotion in the background. So, but we've had a good night tonight and everyone has ate well and I'm thinking, that, was it good? Everybody loved the meals and the recipes tonight. So uh, you can call 888-275-9534 as we speak. There's not but about probably uh, 40 minutes left, 40 uh, minutes left in tonight's segment. And But you still have time to order your cookbook. Uh, I'm sure the egg roll uh, recipe is in the book. So... Uh, we want you to call the number on the screen and let these girls know tonight how much that you have enjoyed watching Lisa on her live cooking show. If you want her to do it again, just hey, say, I love the cooking show and I love to watch Lisa cook. So, uh, all right, we have uh, Archie Howe of Knoxville, Tennessee, one-time gift of $50.00. Uh, wanting the All-American Cookbook. Thank you, Archie, for calling that in. Now, call the number. All of my operators except one are open, so call in. And Mike is on the side, so if you want to speak to him, call in. The number is 888-275-9534. All right, I have Charlotte Ross of Aston, uh, Tennessee. Uh, One-time gift of $50, wanting the All-American Cookbook. Uh, she has some uh, prayer requests. She lost her sister to COVID in December, and she also, um, she has, uh, uh, she, she, she also uh, wants to tell Lisa she is doing an amazing job. Thank you so much. That is such kind words. And Lisa, we will let her know that you called in tonight. Thank you so much for this request. And we just pray a uh, comforting prayer uh, for your family and you in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, we have Abington, uh, Virginia, a one-time gift of $40. And uh, she sends her blessings to Lisa. And thank you so much for that. We have a brother and a sister-in-law. Uh, and his uh, wife and nieces all need prayer, and we're just going to ask God. They know who they are that called in, and we're going to ask the Lord to touch them tonight. This whole family needs prayer, and in the name of Jesus, touch them. All right, we've got Sandra Anderson uh, of Glade Springs, uh, Virginia. Uh, One-time gift of $200, uh, wanting uh, one of the All-American cookbook. Thank you so much. Sandra for calling in that uh, pledge tonight. Uh, we also have a gentleman that has called in from Glade Springs. It's had a heart attack. It's in ICU, and he's in critical condition. And uh, uh, his first name is Daryl. And we're just going to pray over him right now and send the angels, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. We send the angels to that ICU department for Daryl. And we ask God that this heart be healed. And his, his lungs be strengthened, Lord. God, move God upon him and bring him out of this critical condition into wellness, God. In Jesus' name, let him be healed. And we ask it all. And amen, amen. All right, we have, we have uh, Melissa Linkus from Bluefield, Virginia, a one-time gift of $50, wanting the All-American Cookbook. Now, when you call in, make sure you ask them, uh, to do your credit card because it's so much uh, faster for you to get your book. Uh, Pam can run your card and then they, uh, she, she has those going out very quickly. So if you want to call in uh, on your card, just let the girls know, hey, I want to do this on my debit card or my credit card. And uh, if you're wanting it for Mother's Day or you want it for an event soon, uh, just put it on your card and you'll be able to uh, preferably to receive that in time. And uh, we have had a great night. Uh, the phone lines are open. Uh, we want you to be blessed uh, as you're blessing us. And that's what this token of love is to you tonight from Lisa. This new cookbook, well, it's not new, but it's been out for a little bit. And I know a lot of you all have already ordered it prior to this segment. 
but uh, we do still have a lot of them and we wanted to offer them to the ones you know there's a lot of people that's just got to watch us here uh, just came across our channel and just uh, or have just picked us up in our new areas that we've went into so if you're watching tonight and you would like to uh, make a pledge uh, to help support the program of everyday manna uh, you can call in a one-time gift of fifty dollars and also or you could pledge two months of twenty five dollars each month and for uh, with the, uh, you receive this uh, love token from Lisa it's an everyday manna with Lisa all American recipe cookbook uh, and she as before she sent the phone center back to the phone center she was like reading all these recipes she's already went over everything with you guys and uh, she is excited to bring this into your home so we just want to let you see tonight what you will be getting it looks like the fourth of july is what it looks like to me it's a it, it's a all american but it just it's so uh, uh i don't know it's it's just a beautiful book and uh, we want you to receive it tonight and the girl i say i have one two i have i have two phone two phone lines open so you can get through keep calling 888-275 nine five three four we want to hear from you because this is your night everyday manna is cooking live for you uh, we're not pre-recording and my operators are live and so is lisa in the kitchen uh, her and aaron aaron has done a fantastic job tonight helping lisa we just we give him uh all we just commend him well tonight and austin on the camera is doing a fantastic job and Pam has been here since early this evening, and she has done a, she's been washing dishes and keeping uh, Lisa going out there. And we're so thankful for Pam for being here with us tonight as well. And everyone else, all of my phone operators, they are they're just total awesome. Even if they are from my church, they're all good. And I'm excited tonight to say that they came down to support us. And we're glad for that tonight. So if you have not had a chance to call in, 888-275-9534. Call, call tonight. Call the number on the screen and let us hear from you. I have, let's see, my phone lines are jammed, uh, except for Mike over here on the side. If you would like to, uh, to call in right now, you will receive uh, his call. He will receive your call tonight so uh, be a blessing and and we want to bless you uh, with one time gift of $50 or $25 a month for two months be sure and say I want to put this on my credit card and you will receive tonight all right I have uh, I have Margaret uh, Buckland from from Beaver West Virginia one time gift of $50 Wanting the All American Cookbook. Thank you so much. Uh, um, she's having surgery next week and needs prayer. And uh, we just ask God to touch her uh, procedure that she's having and guide those surgeons' hands. We ask for her to have a speedy recovery. In Jesus' name, we ask it done. We have uh, Norma Fields from Jonesville, Virginia, a one-time gift of $50, wanting the cookbook. All right. Keep those phones ringing. Let's see. I have all my phone lines are jammed except the one that Mike is sitting at, so call tonight. He can take your call. Let us hear from you, 888-275-9534. It's our, our time is almost come and gone, and uh, we, uh, we are just so happy to be here with you and to have you all as our viewing audience. You all are a blessing to Living Faith Television and a blessing to Lisa, all right? As they're getting the phone uh, uh, camera people ready back out front, uh, Lisa has given a thumbs up. She's ready to go back on uh, now and... So as we wait for them, uh, wherever they are, to get back out here, then we will go back into our next segment of the cooking show. So, uh, yes. So, uh, 
Yes, we're getting ready right now. All right, keep the phones ringing. We need to hear from you. The phones are jammed, and that's what we want. So right now, uh, so right now we're ready. We're ready. All right, we're going to go back into the kitchen now with Lisa. All righty, we are back. We're going to make some strawberry shortcakes, mm -hmm. which these are strawberry nut shortcakes. Oh. because the shortcake has some walnuts in it. So in this bowl, I have some sour cream and some um, cream cheese and one egg. And I'm going to whip this together with a whisk if I can find. There we go, that'll work. <clears throat> Maybe that'll work. Maybe it won't work. Well, that's a mighty... Not very firm whisk. I got a bunch of whisks around here. Let me find a better one. Erin is going to make some homemade whipped cream because, I mean, I use Cool Whip and I like it, but there's no comparison <laughs> to the flavor of fresh homemade whipped cream. So in, no, let's cream. start with the whipped cream because it takes it a minute and it needs to chill. This is just heavy whipping cream. He's going to add in some uh, cream of tartar, just a little bit, some vanilla, and some powdered sugar. Okay, go ahead. I'm just going to whisk this together. And then he's going to take a st uh, just a hand mixer. If you have a, <clears throat> a kitchen aid, you can use that and turn it on. Get all that ingredients in there and then turn it on high. I only have one of those is why I'm not using it. <laughs> I would use that for this. And it takes it just a minute, but you will create some delicious whipped cream in no time at all. Okay, to this mixture, I'm gonna add some flour, some sugar, <clears throat> some baking soda, some baking powder, and a, just a tiny, tiny bit of salt. Everything needs a little bit of salt. And I'm going to mix all that together. I always make a mess. It's, all about that. it's coming there, yep. See how it just turns from a liquid? into a thicker, mm, I love homemade whipped cream. I'm going to add my chopped walnuts. Got my oven preheated to 450 degrees. Are we good? Yep. Can I borrow that? It's I don't care that it has a little whipped cream on it. It's okay. It's gonna go together in the end anyway. Oh yeah, show everybody what that looks like. Take a spoon. I can find this spoon. I don't know what has happened to all my silverware over here, but look at this. That's good whipped cream. Oh, I'm telling you, there's no different. There's just no comparison. Put that in the fridge till we're ready for it. I'm gonna use this. I don't care that there's a little whipped cream on there. It doesn't matter to kind of beat all this together. Erin, get me just a little bit of uh, milk, please. Or heavy cream, I don't, uh, give me the heavy cream. I'd rather have heavy cream. And I'm gonna add, this is just a little bit dry. <clears throat> it depends on the humidity of your room that you're in. Now, Aaron, what I want you to do, buddy, is slice those strawberries into thin pieces and put them in that bowl. <clears throat> and then what we're gonna do is um, add a little bit of sugar to the strawberries because what, what that does is macerates the strawberries and creates a little bit of a juice and makes them even better than they already are. Now, what I'm gonna do is take this batter 
and I'm just using an ice cream scoop. And what I'm going to do is just drop this by the scoopfuls onto a parchment paper lined baking dish. And I'm going to pop these in a 425 degree oven and bake them for about 15 minutes, depending. Every oven is different. <clears throat> We'll see if we can get these out of the oven before we go off the air because we only have 24 minutes left. Live's a little different, isn't it, buddy? It is a little bit different. <laughs> I don't believe I've been a part of the live you haven't. since I was younger. I don't even, you weren't on live then. You didn't trust me? Much? I didn't do live then much. I'd have probably caused some chaos. <laughs> What I like to do is just sort of pat these down a little flatter. I don't want them flat, but I like them to be just a little bit flatter than a domed. And I'm going to pop these into a 425 degree oven. These are just drop shortcakes. You don't have to roll it out. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You just have to make the batter and pop them in the oven. If you have some sugar in the raw, uh, it would be delicious sprinkled on top. About 15 minutes. If somebody will set me a timer, please. Ooh, I got a mess. So what's new, right? I always have that. a mess. I am a messy cook. I can't help it. Hey, that just means you're focused on making the food good. It's all right. The bigger the mess, the better tasting the food. <laughs> In that case, this is excellent because I've made a mess. <laughs> All right, he's getting the strawberries in there and we're just gonna let those macerate in that sugar until um, they just create their own little juice. You don't have to add the sugar and let them macerate, but I like to do that. I just think it tastes delicious. Now, we are going to make while our strawberry our shortcakes are baking, we're gonna make a little bit of an easy peasy chicken salad. Okay, I have here just some rotisserie chicken left over. You can actually buy this in the store, did you know that? Already taken off the bone for you. Aaron, you wanna chop, it doesn't matter if it's got a little strawberry on there, it does, okay. Chop that into smaller pieces for me and then pop it in that bowl, it would be great. I have here just some celery. I love the crunch of celery. I've got three little stalks here. And we are just going to, and I need a bigger knife. Let me find myself. I can't do some things with tiny little knives. I'm, I just need a bigger knife. Little chunks. We're, we're playing beat the clock here. We have 21 minutes left in tonight's segment. So you need to be on the phone calling 1-888-275-9534. Add some celery to our chicken. I have here just some dried sweetened cherries. You find these in the regular grocery store where you buy uh, raisins. Just look for the dried cherries. If you don't want to use cherries, you can use craisins, the sweet and dried cranberries, or you can use um, uh, dried blueberries. You can use whatever kind of dried fruit you want. I need to grab a little bowl here to make our dressing. I have here a little bit of raspberry vinegar. Now, if you don't have raspberry vinegar, don't buy a bottle of raspberry vinegar just for this recipe, although it is delicious. Uh, and I use it for so many different homemade dressings. Um, you can use red wine vinegar, would be fine. It would be delicious with that. I have here just a little bit of mayonnaise. Just a little bit. I'm not a huge mayonnaise person, but some recipes just need it. This is one of them. And I need, honey, can I get a uh, 
Yeah, let me just grab a. I have this neat little drawer here that lets you put your utensils down in there. Okay. Did you stir those together? Mm-hmm. I sure did. Okay. You want to chop up an apple? I surely can. Just one, just like I did. Cut it in half and then in quarters, and chop it into smallish pieces about the size of this um, piece of celery, and add it to it. All right. Then I'm going to chop up. So I'm using pecans. But if you want to use walnuts or almonds, feel free. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper to my dressing. And a little tiny bit, not too much pepper, not too much salt, but a little bit. And a little tiny bit of oil if I need it. Let me, let me whisk this together and see what we've got. I think I probably will need to thin this out just a little bit. I'm going to use olive oil, but you could use whatever you have will be fine. Canola, vegetable, whatever you have on hand will be fine. If you don't want to use oil, you could just use some more mayonnaise. Will be delicious either way. And then just pop that right on top of that. How big did you say you wanted these again? About the size of the celery, just little just pieces. Yeah, just whatever. It doesn't matter, just whatever. Little bite-sized pieces. Just want them to be a little bite-sized. Bite yeah, that's fine. And then I'm going to chop up some pecans. We have 18 minutes left in tonight's segment. Chopping up some pecans. Our shortcakes are in the oven. All of the recipes that we have done tonight, nothing was cooked ahead. You have watched us from start to finish cook everything. We had the ingredients prepped. Well, we had them semi-prepped. We had them organized, but we're doing the chopping and all of that right here with you because I want you to see that in, what, three hours-ish, we've cooked a lot of food here. Oh, yeah. We've done a lot. And so, you know, you're not going to be doing that much, but you can do it. Now, put those in there. I love having an assistant. I think one apple's probably plenty. I don't think yeah, we need looks, any more than that. Looks good to me. And then stir this together, and you've got a delicious dried cherry apple salad that is wonderful. Get some lettuce, some shredded up romaine, or you could put it on a croissant and make like a chicken salad croissant. You could add in some um, almonds if you'd want to instead of the pecans. You could add just a little bit more mayonnaise if you wanted to. I'm just don't, I'm not a big, I don't like any of my salads, no matter what I'm eating. I don't want it swimming in dressing. I just don't. I don't. I like enough just to hold it together. But if you want to add more mayonnaise, then you can. What, a, what the mayonnaise, too, will coat those apple slices and the vinegar, and that'll keep it from browning. Mm -hmm. You use that trick on fruit at the house, too. I, I do all the time, yeah. Anytime you have cut fruit, bananas or apples or anything avocado even did you know avocado is a fruit it has a seed it has a seed it's a fruit um, if you will put anything acidic like lemon or lime or vinegar it'll mm -hmm. keep it from turning brown and oxidizing let's add just a little because i have it here and it makes it look pretty can you put that back in the fridge i'm going to add a little bit of parsley to that it does add flavor i like flat leaf italian parsley not the curly kind, I like the flat leaf parsley. Um, just make sure when you're in the grocery store that you get parsley and not cilantro. Two very, very different flavors. Yeah, you hate cilantro. I am so. not a fan of cilantro. I'm in the camp, it tastes soapy to me. I think it tastes great in salsa. Everybody likes it. I like it in salsa, but like this, no. People, a lot of, if you don't like it, it's unanimous, it's soapy. So I don't, it has something to do with taste buds, I don't know. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of parsley because it does add flavor, the flat leaf, and it does add color, and it tastes good. I like parsley. <clears throat> so one 275 
9534 and you have got a wonderful chicken salad, dried cherry chicken salad. You have our strawberry shortcakes that are in the oven. Let's go take a peek, why don't we? You wanna take a look? Let's see what, oh, bottom one. Oh, they're not done. <laughs> they're looking good though. They're looking good. If they're not done by the time we go off there, because we only have 15 minutes, all you have to do is split them in half, put those strawberries and that whipped cream on top of it and eat it. I mean, it, it just- it Easy as can be. Is easy and so good. And my, oh, the next morning for breakfast with a cup of coffee, a strawberry shortcake is so delicious with coffee. Yummy. All of the recipes that we have done tonight, won't you go get the rest of the, any of the pledges that they've not read in there and we'll read them out here okay. while we're waiting. I'll be right back. We've got uh, 200 recipes from the All-American Cookbook that can be yours for a gift to Living Faith Television, Living Faith Ministries of $50 or more to this ministry. You are not buying the cookbook. You are supporting Christian television and you are allowing this ministry to go into the homes, into the nursing homes, into the prisons. We get mail from all over the United States. I get emails from different countries from around the world. We have uh, lots of people that write us from jails and they just, you know, they're able to get Living Faith TV. And for some of them, that's the only gospel they hear. I hear all the time. We hear from, you know, a lot of people that are shut-ins or, you know, they're just for whatever reason, temporarily not, not able to get out and, and go to church. So they hear, I hear all the time, Living Faith TV is my church. And you are supporting Christian television going into the homes and the hospital beds and the prisons and the jails and the various places where the gospel needs to be heard. So I, I have not been able to hear who's been calling tonight. I haven't gotten to hear one single person because I'm out here, I'm not back there in the phone room, but we're gonna read some of the people uh, that, that have been calling tonight while we're waiting on our shortcakes. We have 12 minutes and 46 seconds left to go. Do you wanna read them? Well, Just make sure. I don't exactly have the Sue this talking voice. Okay, if it says that, you don't mm -hmm. read the name, you just read where they're from. Okay, Church so we Hill. have uh, Church Hill, We have someone from Churchill, Tennessee, calling with a one-time gift of $50 for the cookbook, and she sends her love to Mike and Lisa. We love you back. Thank you, honey, yes. from Churchill. Thank you. Yeah, hold them for you. Thank you. We have Alberta B. Wolford from Gilbert, West Virginia, and uh, she has given a one-time gift of $100 for the All-American Cookbook. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. She says that she loves Living Faith Television and enjoys Lisa and the cooking show. Thank you very much, Alberta. Thank you. Uh, it's that not one's circled. okay to read. It's okay. okay. It's not circled. So we have Francis P. Solomon uh, from oh, yeah. Omar, West Virginia. And he has given a one-time gift of $50 for the All-American Cookbook. Thank you very much. It's and probably he, of her. Francis. And he wants us to pray that his family will be saved. So we'll keep them in our prayers. Okay. Thank you for that. We have another from Brenda Bible. Bible. That's, ah, that's a nice name to have. That's a nice name, yep. And she is from Morristown, Tennessee. And she is given a one-time gift of $50. Uh, and a monthly and gift of $25 for Thank an unspecified for amount of time Once for the All-American Cookbook. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. You for that. We have okay. someone from Churchill, okay. Tennessee, and they are giving a one-time gift of $100 for the new cookbook and another old one if possible. Uh, okay. I'm sure we can we'll work, work something, something out. out. Yep. And we have another here from Johnson City, Tennessee, oh. someone very close to us. Uh, with a one-time gift of three hundred dollars. No, three dollars. Three dollars. Three dollars. Okay. okay. And his prayer request. He says he is disabled and only has five dollars to donate. Well, maybe that's a gift of five dollars. Okay. Five dollars. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. We'll we'll take care of that one. Thank you for that. We appreciate there in Johnson City. These are just some of the people that have been calling in tonight. Yes. Uh, 
And Thank just, you for your gifts. And just remember, it's not about how much you give. It's just about the fact that you're willing to give that matters yeah. to us. And it, That's all that we care about. Just in support. do what you feel you're led to do. We're not asking you to go out of your way to do something you don't want to do. No, absolutely. You know, and Aaron, something I have always said is pray and ask God to tell you what is your part. But when we all do our part, and a lot of people... They think that their one gift won't make a difference, and it does because, you know, one of my favorite stories in the Bible is the story of Jesus feeding the multitude where the little boy gives his lunch, mm -hmm. the fishes and the loaves, and we all know the story, or we probably all know the story, but in the hands of God, he takes that, and Jesus took that little boy's lunch and fed the 5,000, and what we don't often remember is that's just the men. There were women there. There were children there. So they all got fed with baskets left over. How he does it, I don't know, but he does take the small gifts, the big gifts. He puts them together and he allows Living Faith Television through your obedience, through your help, through you sowing into this ministry. He takes that and he multiplies it somehow. I don't know how he does it, but he does. And you become a part of sowing seeds into lives. Lives get changed. You know, I, when I first, when God started dealing with me to do living, your, your grandfather and I had talked so much about doing a cooking show because he knew I loved to cook. And he was truly one of my favorite people I've ever cooked for. Mm. Um, and, but we just didn't have the space. It was, we were in the little A-frame and we, we just did not have the space to build a cooking show set, a kitchen set. And, um, you know, years go by, he passed away. And just a couple of years after he passed away, God started dealing with my heart that I needed to, to start the cooking show. And, and I, 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 my plate was full. You know, I have a lot of, this is not the only job I have here. I do about four full-time jobs. And, but I prayed and I was like, God, I, 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 I want to be sure what does cooking have to do with Christian TV? I was sincere in that. And, you know, the Lord really let me know that people that would not watch Christian television would stop and watch a cooking show. I can't tell you the number of people since that this is starting my 16th year of this show. I can't tell you how many people have told me you know, I never watched your network. I never watched Christian TV, but I saw your show and I watched, I love it. Mm -hmm. And now I'm watching different other different ministry programs. That's what this cooking show's about. It's, you know, yeah, we get to eat good food. Yeah, I'll bring you great recipes and things that you can cook. Because believe me, I am big on family dinners and sitting down as a unit to eat together. There's more to it than feeding your body. That's a sermon for another day. But when you are sowing into lives through this network and this show, this, you're not buying this cookbook. You are supporting Christian television. I, there have been numerous people through the years. I could name you some names. I won't, but I could, that have gotten saved through watching this cooking show. God does it. He gets 100% of the glory. This is not about me. And I don't do this for any other reason than that. I do it to bring the gospel to your home, into those hospitals, into those jail cells. We get mail all the time from inmates from all over. And, you know, they, they, they watch Living Faith TV and they, many of them have gotten saved. Uh, mm -hmm. Several people have been... Uh, one in particular lady, her name, I'll just say her first name, her first name's Kathy. Um, she called and she was ready to commit suicide, had a gun, was ready to kill herself. But something reached out and grabbed her and she called the number on the screen and I was able to actually talk with her and I got to meet her in Johnson City years later. I hear this lady running across the parking lot calling my name and she tears streaming down her face and she said, do you remember me? And she said her name, Kathy, and I, I, tears started streaming down my face. I was like, yes, absolutely. So I got to wow. actually meet her, and that was one of the highlights of my life. 
but this ministry is here for you. These cookbooks are here so that you can receive the manna of natural food. That, that's why this program is called Everyday Manna. Manna, yes, it's physical food. But it's also spiritual food. That's why manna is in the name of this program. We need it every day, hence the name Everyday Manna. And this cookbook is a gift to you for sowing into Living Faith Television. You're not buying this. You are supporting Christian TV, and in return, we send you a copy of the Living Faith TV cookbook. I Let's go. To the oven. Huh? Yeah, I need to check these. Ah, we have four minutes left. Let's see. Ooh, we say, might be in luck. Let's see. Five minutes ago. Let's check them here. No, they need close. Just a couple more minutes. A couple more minutes. I think we're We've probably going to run out of time. Let's get the. Uh, the whipped cream out, just in case. Let, let's be positive in our thoughts. I'm getting ready, because let me tell you, strawberry shortcakes are my number one dessert. Every time that she cooks them at home, she I, gets so happy. I love them so much. She cooks them <clears throat> a lot. Yeah, I do. I do, because I love them. I mean, they're, they're delicious. They're easy You're and they're You're getting fruit. <laughs> It's, it's healthy. <laughs> it is healthy. I, I make a lot of healthier versions. I make all kinds of different versions. I'm going to get my spoon out. I'm anticipating great things. I need a plate, some kind of plate for my shortcake. I'm hoping in the next one minute. Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't think they care if it's plastic or paper or whatever. It's, it's fine. Oh, this whipped cream. You did a great job on the whipped cream and the strawberries. Thank you. Let's see. Let me check. They're, all, they're almost there. 1-888-275-9534. Well, let me just show you. I think they're... Yo, they look good. They, <laughs> they're a little on the tender side. I just literally took them out of the oven. But there are your... I've got to let them cool. I can't dig into that right now. They've got to cool down just a minute. But there are your uh, strawberry nut shortcakes. All you're going to do is, I, I like to kind of crumble mine up into bite-sized pieces and then top it with the strawberries and the whipped cream. It's so good, I'm telling you. My mouth is watering. I haven't gotten to eat. I took a couple of bites of food, but this is going to be my reward. We have two minutes and 46 seconds left in tonight's program. Thank you for being a part. Do we have any more pledges back there that they can bring me or are we good? I don't know. They're standing. I don't know what's going on back there. But it's been a night. Thank you for helping me. You could be, I don't believe I, I don't know if I could have done it. My voice is a little stronger than it was when we started, but it's still very, yeah. very raspy, it was very pretty sore. Bad. It was pretty bad there at the yeah. beginning. But anyway, uh, thank you for being a part of Living Faith Television. This is the first time in a while that we've gotten to cook live. Uh, we, you know, for various reasons. Of course, the big C word. I refuse to say that word anymore. Um, that hindered us. And then we've had some technical difficulties with equipment and signal and all of that stuff. I won't bore you with that. But that's all fixed. So, Lord willing, things are going to get back to normal. And we'll be able to do some live programming. I love doing it live. It's a lot of work, mm -hmm. but it's a lot of fun. And it, you know, it, um, I'm spoiled now, so I might have to have help every time he started something. You see, I might have to plan this around your schedule this fall. He's only got two yeah. classes this fall, so we should be good to go on that. But I okay. thank you for supporting Christian Television. We came on the air in 1995. 95. Been a long time. But I tell you, it just the I can't wait to get to heaven one day and just stand back and watch as all of you walk and hear your name and you hear the words, well done, thou good and faithful servant, for being faithful to Christian television, for being faithful to want to see other people come to know Christ. There are people in your own backyard and in my own backyard that have never heard the name Jesus, that do not know the gospel, that do not know that Christ came and died for us. And this is one way that you can support. We can't physically go 
to all these places, but we can send the word, and that's what you're doing. You are supporting Christian television. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, Aaron's my heart, heart, Mike's, and Austin, and all of our team here, Pam and Andrea and Chloe and Paul and Tim and Sheila and all of us together, Rick, Daryl, and all of us, in the, phone room. the people that volunteer to come in here and give of themselves, drive hours to get here. Thank you from the bottom of our heart. Thank you most of all for caring about getting the gospel out. We'll see you next time. Come join us for a very special evening of coming together, praising, and celebrating the joy of God's work. As we spread the good news of God's Word through television, we want our partners to know we are thankful for the opportunity to infiltrate the homes of our viewers with the Word of God. Because of partners like you, we can now reach new partners in countries as far as Trinidad and Tobago and Australia. We could not do this without you and your faithful giving to our organization. Welcome to the 2023 Festival of Praise Share-A-Thon at Living Faith Television.